KNDY. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Flush, Kansas. Jason Brenniger and Brian Crock bringing you Marysville Bulldog football, where the 1-0 district Marysville Bulldogs will take on the 1-0 district Rock Creek Mustangs. It's a battle for district supremacy early on as we have our final edition of Friday Night Lights in the month of September. The Coaches Show coming up right after this. Update your home today with a new look from Feldkamp's Furniture Mart. See their tremendous selection of living room, dining room, and bedroom sets and furniture, as well as bedding, accent pieces, appliances, and more. Flooring choices with professional installation are available to complete a new look from start to finish for a single room or your entire home. Financing options for any budget up to 24 months with no interest, as well as free delivery making buying local easy. Shop Feldkamp's Furniture and Flooring in Marysville today. Tension Envelope, the leader in envelope and packaging solutions, is currently looking to hire new members to its staff. With a great work schedule and benefits package, Tension Envelope might be for you. Don't believe me? Well, how about some of the experts at Tension convince you? Uh, my name is Josh Schoenberger. Uh, my duty is an adjuster at Tension Envelope. We work three days on, one day off, three days on, and then seven days off for the majority of the jobs that are down here at Tension. Well, hi, I'm Deb Logus, and I've been here 43 years. I am a plate maker right now is what I'm doing. Um, they take good care of us. We've got good benefits. Head on over to their website for more information on open positions or call their Marysville location to find out for yourself if Tension Envelope is right for you. Travel more with up to $110 total savings from Michelin and Mike's OK Tire. Now through October 4th, get up to $110 total savings via Visa Reward Card or Visa Virtual Account after online submission with the purchase of four new select Michelin Passenger or Light Truck Tires. Submit online at TireAwardCenter.com. See offer terms and conditions. Mike's OK Tire offers $110 total savings on four new Michelin passenger or light truck tires when you travel more now through October 4. Olmsted Real Estate and Auctions, your farm and home marketing team since 1976. Let the family team of Tim, Tom, and Rob Olmsted and brother-in-law Tom Kirkland guide you in your real estate experience of selling or buying a home or farmland. Olmsted Real Estate and Auctions is experienced in providing timely, professional, and honest service. Find them on the web at olmstedrealestate.com or call today at 785-353-2210. Welcome back into the program. I am joined now by head coach of the Marysville Bulldogs, Tony Trimble. Coach, first off, congratulations on the 30-6 to win against Concordia. Not only was it the first win, but it also started district playoff with a win. So how important was it to get that early lead and set that tone? Well, I, you know, you mentioned the early lead, and, and that's something that we talked to the kids about um, leading up to this game. Uh, that fact that we hadn't been ahead yet this season and how we needed to get a fast start, try to jump out early. Um, felt like that was huge. And I really felt like it changed uh, the energy level that our kids brought to the game from that point on. You know, playing from in front is a lot, lot better for your team, obviously. Everybody wants to be in that position. But I just felt like it changed our energy level. We played a little bit more like uh, we've been hoping we would be able to play this year. Looking at that energy level of the play, I'd be remiss. I've watched the little film, and there's a few trick plays thrown in there. So I guess as a coaching staff, was that a plan going into that week to maybe energize the offense, or is that just something you decided to roll with the flow as the game went on? Uh, mostly roll with the flow. Uh, you know, the first uh, we ran the – the hook and ladder play uh, yeah. after a big stop on defense. Uh, we had a big interception and kind of had a nice return off of it. And it, I felt like the momentum was really high. And so we felt like it was a good time to take a shot. Mm -hmm. and so we ran the hook and ladder and obviously it did what we expected it to. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Taking advantage of that momentum is always big especially in a game like that. Looking at the offensive side, you're able to open it up a little bit more. It seemed almost pa uh, passing-wise, you kind of opened it up a little bit more, and that opened some running lanes for you. How nice was that to kind of see a change of pace on that side of the ball? Well, it was, it was good. It's something we've been trying to do all year. Um, with our offense, we put the, 
force player on the defense and in a predicament on every play. And, you know, we, we just weren't able to take advantage of that as much as we had hoped mm. uh, through those first three games. And finally kind of clicked for us, and we were able to do that a little bit more this game. And, mm. uh, again, it just it puts that kid in a position where he's, getting so used to having to come up hard to stop the run, and then all of a sudden there's a guy in his zone that he's sitting out there wide open. So it worked out in our favor this week, and that's something we're going to definitely have to improve upon. Keep marching forward. That is the plan. And, you know, don't want to say better late than never, but it clicks. You know, some teams just takes a little while. Going into this week, you're facing a Rock Creek team that – I kind of see resembles a little bit Wamigo, who you faced early on in the year, kind of spread him out. Being able to face that team early on in the season, how does that kind of help you prepare for this game coming up? Well, like you said, they, they do resemble a, resemble Wamigo a little bit. Uh, they're definitely a, a fast, very fast team, with and they like to spread you out. And they're going to, you know, right now, through three games, they throw the ball about 60% of the time, so... Uh, they're looking to put the ball in the air and create big plays and try to hit home runs. So defensively, you know, we've been talking to our kids a lot about eliminating big plays. And so if we can eliminate some of those home run plays and make them work, um, you know, we'll do what we can on offense to keep the ball out of their hands so that their their offense isn't even on the field. But, uh, you know, they're, they're a fast strike team. And so we're hoping to slow that down and, and put them in a position they're not comfortable in. You mentioned it there. One good point about having a balanced team, the offense keeps the opposing offense off the field more, more times than not. So, Coach, I appreciate your time today. Best of luck with Rock Creek coming up. Once again, congratulations, and we'll talk to you again next week. Thank you, Max. Like new, priced right, the Nordis Motor Company in Marysville has a 2019 Chevy Traverse LT Edition with a leather interior, just 31,000 miles. They have a 2017 GMC Acadia Limited, and several others in on trade at the Nordis Motor Company in Marysville. Chromie Lumber in Marysville and Washington offers sales, template, and installation of countertops, including quartz, solid surface, and corian. Visit chromielumber.com or stop in 609 Carolina in Marysville or 200 Ballard in Washington. For your next kitchen remodel project, see Chromie Lumber in Marysville and Washington. If you're a driver over 50, it may be time to switch your auto insurance. The AARP Auto Insurance Program from the Hartford is now available through Copeland Insurance Agency in Marysville. Call today for your free, no obligation quote. Learn more about special rates, benefits, and service designed especially for AARP members. Call the Copeland Insurance Agency at 619-6220. That's 619-6220. Certain policy features are subject to eligibility and may not be available in all states. Hartford Fire Insurance Company, Hartford, Connecticut. You are listening to Marysville Bulldogs football on KNDY, 94.1 FM, 1570 AM, and streaming live. We'll get it on the app. And for the second week in a row, the National Anthem did not cooperate with my pregame plan, Brian. <laughs> uh, that's all right. It's, it's not about our pregame plan. Jason Brenniger and Brian Crott bringing you the action in Flush, Kansas, where the Rock Creek Mustangs, who are 3-1 three and one on the year, uh, losers in week one to Southeast of Saline, 26-38. Winners over St. Mary's, 41-20. Riley County, 45-21. And a week ago over Silver Lake, 44-28. to I mentioned that uh, uh, Rock Creek was one and only the district. They are not. They have not yet played a district game. Marysville did win a district game a week ago. Their first win of the season, 30-6 to over Concordia, after three losses uh, in the preseason uh, in the NCKL. So, Brian, tonight, a contrast of styles here. The Marysville Bulldogs want to play ball control from beginning to end. They are not interested in quick scores. They are interested in long drives. On the other hand, Rock Creek has this philosophy of, hey, we're going to snap it 60 times. And you might beat us defensively 45 of those 60 times. But we're going to beat you so bad on the other 15, we don't care. And it's going to be fast and furious offensively for Rock Creek. Yep, uh, we talked about it on the way down here. It's going to be a fight over whose style do we get to play if if there's a lot of snaps and a lot of possessions uh marysville's probably going to be in the losing end of this 
if we can limit this to maybe one or two possessions per quarter, which is possible, Marysville's yep. done it before, uh, Marysville's got a great opportunity. So that's usually we talk about tempo being a large factor in a basketball setting, but here it is in a football setting, and that tempo is big. Two years ago when Marysville was down here, I, I really thought that, that in terms of who won the most plays, Marysville won by a landslide, but on the scoreboard it was wildly different. And so you're going to see that here tonight, which will play out. Right now, you're talking about Marysville is getting a little bit healthier, had some key injuries, still no Peyton Smith tonight, but Tremont Hornbeek looked pretty good a week ago. Thomas Barron's played some snaps a week ago, expecting more from him tonight. Devin Tomer's ankle injury should be a thing of the past, so Marysville looking to be a little bit closer to full strength. Rock Creek tonight, boy, I don't know. They should be all over the place, and they at least plan to be. Yeah. Uh, and speaking of being all over the place, first time I've ever seen the starting quarterback and the backup quarterback sing the national anthem. Very interesting. I missed that, too. Yeah. So let's talk about their starting lineup a little bit. I have their backfield. I don't have their starting line, but um, starting at quarterback, number four, like I said, he was just down here on the track singing the national anthem, number four, Dalton Whitworth. He is running back. It's going to be number nine, Jaden uh, Winitz. He's going to throw the ball a lot. Uh, Jason thinks 40 or 50 times he's going to throw the ball. He's going to be throwing the ball to number one, Ethan Burgess. Number five, Maddox Sabara, and number seven, Yancey Spiller. That's those are the names you're going to be hearing a lot for Rock Creek. Very good. From Marysville on the offensive line, you're going to look at Dakota Salupionic, a six foot one, two hundred thirty pound sophomore. John J. Walton, a six foot two, two hundred twenty pound senior. Thomas Barron, six foot one hundred eighty five pound senior. Ashton Schaefer, 215 pound sophomore. Braden Dorocotti, 245 pound junior. That's who you see mostly on the offensive line. And that backfield, as we talked about, number 26, Tremont Hornbeek, is 185 pound junior. He's back there along with uh, Will Otot, who is a 175 pound sophomore. And Rhett Williams, a 205 pound, six foot three inch senior. Quarterback is Rook Williams. He is a 195 pound senior. So, Marysville, with a lot of athleticism and a lot of size, and a lot of experience. Rook has uh, been on that offensive starting line for, or starting offense for the last three years. Or excuse me, Rhett. And then Rook, of course, the two-year starting quarterback. Uh, Devin Tomer out there, one wide receiver. Colton Shotty is a lot of times the other one. Uh, and then also Nathan Fisher and a couple of other guys. But you know, the wide receivers in this Marysville offense are, are really um, offensive linemen with a lower number. Yep, that's exactly right. Uh Rook Williams, you, you mentioned Rook and Rhett. Rook coming off the absolute greatest game I've ever seen For sure. him play, probably ever that he'll ever Not play. only on the stat sheet. He looked really good on the stat sheet. Sure. Responsible for, uh, yeah, he threw for two touchdowns, ran for another. But the intangibles, that play across the field, uh, may have been a game-changing play. And then and then blocking after making the pitch on an option. Just those kind of things that are just those little intangible things that can just change the game, especially when it's your quarterback. When, you, when, you, when your best players are your best players, then that can really uh, – the, 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 there's really no end to the possibilities. And that's what we hope to see tonight for Marysville is all those kids take a step forward. I think Tony Trimble now, as Marysville's head coach, has the opportunity to tell these boys, hey, I know what we've been doing is a lot different. I told you that it, was, it would work, and now I have the proof. And with that proof in hand, I look for a lot more from this offense tonight. I love it. I think we're going to take a quick break. Two minutes to go before game time. Marysville at Rock Creek. The demand for Landall products is real. Landall's orders are overflowing for all three product lines. If you or if you know of someone looking for an excellent career opportunity that offers stable employment and outstanding benefits, contact Landall Company in Marysville, 785-562-5381, or apply online at landall.com slash careers. Positions available in Marysville, Waterville, Beloit, EEO, Vets, and Disability. Welcome. Personal care and service are hallmarks of doing business with RX Drug in Marysville. As a locally owned and operated Health Mart pharmacy, you're assured the one-on-one -on -one attention and guidance that they deliver every day. It's convenient, fast, and friendly when you count on RX. Front door parking, easy access, and if need be, they can bring your prescription out or deliver. Friendly personal service, it's how they've always done business at RX Drug, downtown Marysville. Welcome back to Rock Creek, flush Kansas, as Jason likes to say. Uh, Rock Creek just won the coin flip. They have elected to defer. Marysville will be receiving to start the game. 
Rock Creek in all black. Black helmets, black tops, black pants. Silver stripe across the helmet, silver RC on the side of the helmet, although some of them have numbers, which is interesting to me. Or is it one side and then the other, maybe? Yeah, it could be. I think it's maybe one side and then the other in any event. And then uh, silver letters, so it should be easy for us to spot those letters. Marysville, uh, black helmets, white road jerseys. Outlined in the black and the red and the black bottoms. And again, easy numbers to see. Why does that matter to you, the listener? Because we're going to be more accurate delivering who is doing what to you. Uh, Wamego uh, Junior High came to town last night and they had uh, red numbers on gray jerseys. I don't have a clue. Have a clue. I knew if there were two numbers or one, and that was about as good as I could do. There's those home jerseys used to be that way. When they had the red numbers, we couldn't see anything. Yep. So Rock Creek's going to kick it right to left on your radio dial. I know Brian says nobody has that anymore, but you know my reference here. P- pretty good breeze blowing here. And it'll be in Marysville's face uh, to start this game. So Rock Creek kicker with a little bit extra advantage. Uh, too deep for Marysville at the 10-yard line is uh, Rook Williams and who is that over there? Keegan Waters. Nice. Your face. Yeah, Keegan, just a freshman, playing some really good JV football. And when you do that, you get opportunities like this. Earn yourself a letter. We got some Trimble sitting in front of us wearing neutral colors. Here to support their dad, but live locally. And here's your kickoff, Rock Creek. Big boot. Back deep. Going to go into the end zone. Lands in the end zone. Yeah. That, again, wind aided, but still a big leg on that young man. A good kick. Yeah. Uh, it's going to put Marysville at their own 20 to start this football game. The only way Jason would get it there is if he kicked it into a tornado. Well, until then, it probably not. Yeah. So, this is okay with Tony Trimble. He doesn't mind starting at the 20 because this gives him more yards if his offense is clicking to chew up more clock. Three yards at a time. Even though it's the first play of the game, Marysville looks at their wristbands for that first play call in their traditional formation. Tremont Hornbeek in the backfield. Will Otot in motion, handoff. Nope, fake handoff. And uh, Rook's going to keep it. He's got a long way to go. He's going to go, guys. 40. He's got one guy to get 30. 20. Touchdown. 10. No Touchdown, no flag. Bill on the first no play flag. of the game, 80-yard run. I did not get the number. I'm sorry I can't deliver it to you, but a tremendous block on the edge between the 40 and the 45. It's bring that from being a nice gain on first down to an 80-yard touchdown run on one play. Rook Williams. I just said he had the greatest game of his life last week. And then he started with an 80-yard touchdown well, run. Why not just go ahead and have the greatest game of your life the rest of this sure. season, Rook? Just be just be that good, right? Wouldn't I, I, you, no complaint from me, and I can't imagine anyone who cheers for the Bulldogs ever would. So Mary's will off to the quick six zero start, extra point pending. Give tremendous amount of credit to that ball fake. Low, but I believe it's good. Yeah, it flowers is. up and good. We're going to go ahead and keep it right here, Brian. We're going to break down this uh, run. What what it is? It's option football, and you even said it on the air. Uh, give to the fullback. Yep. Yeah. And he did not. And he continued on with that option, and he got his corner turned. And the way you teach that is if you're the quarterback and you can turn the corner, you keep it and you get your four or five yards and you reset. Well, he got his edge, and then he was able to get out to the sideline. And down the sideline he went, and, man, I wish I could give credit to the young man who made the block because it was tremendous. And it just sprung him. He was gone, and it was a foot race between uh, Rook and number 17, uh, Hunter Prockish. And Prockish, even with the angle, couldn't beat Williams. Yeah, Rook's, Rook's fast. He's, what, six threes? Yep, and, and he's a little lighter than Rhett, but which translates into he's also faster. And, and that's one of the things that I've talked about with Tommy. You know, that I, I get the great ability to have some insight with uh, my son on the staff. Obviously, didn't share any secrets too big, but he, he, he talks about these things and how these kids, they're, they're just, they weren't discouraged after 0-3 and they weren't depressed, and they weren't like, oh, the season's ruined. They, they knew that every goal they had was still in front of them. And so with that in mind, they just kept plugging away at it. And then I think they're just really buying into this thing now and letting their talent kind of take over. So, Jason, we talked about limiting possessions. <laughs> and then well, they go the first play for a touchdown. For sure. But Why don't we just score on one player? When, whenever you can start the game. There's 11:47 to go in this football game. It's essentially just begun, mm-hmm. and you're now up seven nothing. That's kind of like a turnover. Sure. For 
for college football fans, this is going to be a lot like Oklahoma versus Kansas State. Kansas yeah. State likes to limit their possessions. Oklahoma likes to have a lot of them. Here's your kickoff. It's a squib short. Field at about 35. And, yeah, hit hard. He does. He is going to fall forward. Great job on with his effort to fall forward to the 40. For sure. And it's going to be really good field position for Rock Creek here, starting at their own, uh, almost exactly at the 40-yard line. So Rock Creek being Oklahoma in my uh, uh, whatever. Analogy. There you go. You're going to have three wide receivers to the far side, one to the near side, and a quarterback and a running back in a shotgun position with the running back right at his hip. Here's your snap. Rock Creek has the ball, looks to pass. It's completed. Five yards downfield. He's hit right away, but does shake a couple free. He's going to get seven yards on first down. That was Dalton Whitworth. To Maddox Sabara, number five. Sabara was the king tonight in the homecoming. Yeah, Maddox Sabara, the homecoming king. So this, with this spread raw offense like this, puts a lot of pressure on those front five. Here's your second and short. It's a run up the middle. Jaden or Jaden Winans, he's going to get enough for the first down, I believe. Oh yeah, four short. Right seven yards. Up, oh, flag on the field. Okay. He's right at the line of scrimmage. Let's hang on here. That play never happened. We said seven on the first play. It looked like they gave him more like nine. Yeah. Holding against Rock Creek. So that play did not happen. Eleven minutes to go here in the first quarter. We already have a Marysville Bulldogs score seven to zero. Rock Creek in their first position. Yeah, Rock Creek now a little bit behind the chains at second and a, a short 12. Great accommodations up here, by the way. Absolutely. Huge windows, nothing blocking the way. Dalton Whitworth throws again. It's completed. Makes the first guy miss. He's out to the 47, 48-yard line. That's Ethan Burgess. Give him 10 yards. Yep, third and a long one. Yep. So the thing is there is that at some point in time, uh, you've got to get a little pressure on that quarterback so Whitworth isn't just sitting back there picking it apart. And there's a free five. Unfortunately, uh, Marysville Bulldog, Ashton Schaefer just got across the line of scrimmage just a bit too early. He fell for the hard count. So that puts Rock Creek into Marysville side of the field. Starting to get a little darker out. Jason's yeah, old eyes. And dark a little light. earlier. Yeah. Or I formation style. Hand off. Gets hit right away. That's yeah, Burgess again. Or excuse me, uh well, Winans. Winans on the carry, yeah. Number nine, Winans is gonna carry a, a good a good number of load of the yeah. of the running plays. Two carries, two yards for him on that carry, third or second and eight. Good job by the Marysville front there. Now we got a tight end and instead of trips and then but still twins wide receivers. So three eligible wide receivers on that far side. There's your second and eight play quick oh, pass. Wide open. Bobbled but caught. Good enough for a first down, not a whole lot more. You gotta fix that. Tristan Schaefer, the outside linebacker, is just out of position there. I don't think you blame that on Tristan. I think there's a, a coaching fix that's gotta that's come. Number six, Dagan Vendeska. How long of the game? From the forty four down to the thirty eight. So six yards. Isn't he up to 34? Ten yards? Yeah, thanks. Yeah, still getting my bearings here. It's from 44 to the 34, 10 yards. First down play, another quick pass. All in the flats, and it's all yep. wide open. Yep. Seven, yep. eight more. Well, he did for seven more yards. That's number seven, the Anthony Spiller. How many four. targets is that already? So that's four for four, and that's four different receivers. 36 yards on four passing attempts and, and just kind of chewing up yardage. Somebody's got to control that flat. Second down's a run. Huge hole. He's going to get about 10 more yards. Let's see what the official Mark count is. Mark nine, I think. Yeah. That was Winans. That was Winans. Winans does not care to juke anybody. No, anybody. that is downhill running, isn't it? Yeah, he just lowers his shoulder pads. And he'll hit anybody that gets in his way. First and 10, Rock Creek, inside the Marysville 20. Your snap. And up again, it's the same play as last time. He's going to get about the same number of yards. Yeah, almost 10. There's nine more. 
Yep, eight or nine more yards for Wine. So Rock Creek wastes no time. They get right up to the line. They're ready, ready for their next play. It takes them just a few seconds from play to play. It does, and when they're able to hit the middle hard like that and also able to hit the flats quick, there's really not much you can do defensively unless you just want to – got to cross-face your man on that offensive line. You just have to. Second and two. Pass completed our side. Going to get up really close to the goal line. Burgess nope. again. Down to the one. It's another nine yards. First and goal from the one. Well, what can't stand if Marysville wants to have any success is that you can't have Whitworth being five for five for 45 yards on the drive. Definitely some adjustments need to be made. And Winans is going to walk into the end zone. Touchdown, Rock Creek. 8.44 to go still in the first quarter, and it's already 7-6. to six. Looks like they're setting up for an extra point. Jaden Winans with the one-yard run. Back Lee to kick. Extra points up. Kicked very well. It is good. At Rock Creek, Marysville 7, Rock Creek 7. When you're raising cattle, you have your standards. The right feed, plenty of pasture. As your ag financial partner, we've got our standards too. Like being there to help you run your business with the loans and appraisals you need. Raising cattle and raising standards. So stop by and let's talk. Citizen State Bank, Marysville, Waterville, and Hanover. Member FDIC. Welcome back to Rock Creek. So Rock Creek just scored on their opening possession. Marysville scored on their opening possession. Just a few minutes into the game, it's already 7-7. Seven to seven. So we talked about the contrasting styles. Marysville wasn't anticipating that Rook Williams would go on his first play, but the plays ran uh, are eight for Rock Creek, one for Marysville, score the same. Talked about in the pregame limiting possessions for each team. Uh, if Marysville doesn't score on one, I think that's going to be their goal is chip away three yards. Uh, that's asking their defense a lot to be on the field uh, if we go three and out. Here's your kickoff. Mac Lee got quite a leg. He does have the win in his back. It's good. This one's going to be fielded at the 8. Stumbled a little bit. Up to the 20, and he brought down right away. Made the first yeah. guy took him down. That's that was Keegan, Ward. Keegan Warders. Yeah, and the thing is, there, you know, Keegan's uh, a pretty nice, fast little player, but uh, 5'8", 145 in your program, and so a little bit easier body to take down, perhaps. So one yard better than the last starting position. Bears with 80 yards on one play. Rock Creek with 60 on nine. I said eight before. There was actually nine plays in that last drive. Did that include a hold? No. Yeah. Add in a holding penalty there as well. Here's your first down play for Marysville on their second possession. Snap. I believe handoff up the middle. Nope, handoff to the second guy. Yeah, that's the... That's the OB play. That's yeah. the second guy through gets that. And he looks like he's good for about six. Was that Otot? Yes, it was. Okay. Yeah, the deception has got me fooled. Yeah, almost seven. I'm going to give him seven because I can. I want to say Dakota Slupianica was the dive man there. He, he is, might have been. He is the back as possession. Dakota Slupianica. Well, Thomas Barron's back. So I give, get back. That gives him a little bit more uh, flexibility there. Big body. Second and short. Quarterback still has the ball. Up to the first down chains and not much more, but first down Marysville. I'll give Rook three because I think they just got to the marker. Yeah, it was second and three. Well, heck, he got a couple more yards than that. He got almost five. You're the stack guy. You can put whatever you want down there, Chase. Well, he needed the 32, and there he is. At the right. 33, yeah. 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 Got at least four. First down well, there. Excuse me, he needed the 31, and he got the 33. True, yeah. He started at the 21. So Marysville doing exactly what... Jason and I thought they needed to do is just uh, high formation get here. First down. Snap. I believe he ended up to the second it guy through again. Tot. 
you're going to get five, maybe more, maybe even six. Five was the right call, second and five coming up. Ota is super quick to that hole, dude, hitting it uh, a lot like our friend Winans on the other side of the football. So Slupionica leading the way. There was a fake dive, and then he into the second man, which was Otot. Marysville already doing different things than we've seen them do all year. Yep. Same idea with the fake, with the deception, but uh, now we got, what, double type? Uh-huh. Well, Otot in motion. Dive. Nothing much there. Slupionica's going to fall forward for one. Uh, Brett Williams was also in that pile up. Not sure where he came from, if he was a lead blocker there or what. Big third down here. It's third and it's a short four, but it's it's a four, full four. 6.22 and counting in this first quarter. We're tied at seven. Second possession here for the Bulldogs. Here's your third down play. The pass. He's in trouble. Brooks, big trouble. He's going to get trouble. by about five black shirts. He just held on to it too long. That's, but if you look up and you got to get it going or else you got to get gone on that. Yep. So every every yard, Marysville had gained there. On yeah. that set of chains is lost, maybe even some more. Yeah, minus eight on that. All the way back to the 30 where Marysville will punt. Peyton Smith, Marysville starting punter, still injured. Out with concussion. Tomer's got a good leg, though. Here's your punt. This is a decent that punt. That doesn't Tomer, though. No. Oh, bounces backwards. Rock creates favor. They're going to almost get it at midfield. Oh. Uh-oh. And I see a flag. Maybe even I first guess. down Marysville. There's some confusion here. Marysville coaching staff out on the field. Flag down. Let's get this sorted out. They wave. Wave the flag off. Okay, so Rock Creek's going to have some pretty decent field position here. Now, that was, I'm not, it was number 35. Part of that football, and I don't have a 35 on my roster. Do you? Yes. Jack Lauer. Oh, yeah, there it is, 10 slash 35. Okay. Yep. Dual duties, or maybe that's just as a way, Jersey? Yeah, I'm not sure how that would You yeah. wouldn't need dual, I wouldn't think, for 10 and 35. No. Nope. First down, Rock Creek. I don't know what the confusion was over for Marysville first down or what. We couldn't see that, but quick pass for Rock Creek. Makes the first guy miss. Actually, doesn't make the first guy miss. Stays on his feet. Yeah, he broke about four or five tackles for there. For three yards. Burgess yeah. caught that ball. Tristan Schaefer missed two tackles on it. Yeah, that was... Long three, maybe short four. Yeah, you got to have a better tackling on that because we could have been a one yard loss. Jacob Dankerbring, I think, was the one that it finally brought him down. Overthrown here on second and finally a miss. Seven. So Dalton Whitworth with his first miss, third, and so here's the problem with area football: is ten seconds has elapsed and it's third and long. Yep, yep. And that, that you're exactly right, and that's when it comes back to that strategy of. Uh, if we don't win our plays big, we get ourselves in, in tough situations. And they, they want to play for four yards, and then they didn't win the play at all. And now here they are, third and six. And they have to win this play to keep possession of the football. Five wide outs. There's a really far off the wide receivers. Mm -hmm. Here's your third down. It's a quick pass away. And, and because Not, he, he didn't get it. He didn't get the first down, but in four down territory. Give him five. Who caught it? Seven. Yancey Spiller. Nope. The guy next to us is Ethan Burgess. I saw five it. Five more. Burgess, 27. With five wide receivers. Fourth and one. Three. Fourth and short. They tried, tried to, to draw him. Tried to draw him. There's a lot sides. It didn't work. Rock Creek resets. Mm -hmm. Their fourth down play. Get their, they got their running back. Oh, it's a quick pass away. It's caught. And he's going to get past First the team. And a little, little bit more. Got a broken tackle there. Yeah, it looks like uh, Dankerbring was there to hit him right at the chains, but he made him miss. 
and it was Burgess again yep. the 44 to the 32 to 12 on that for Burgess. Burgess is very elusive. He make, always makes the first guy miss. It's like Brandon Craneville's now in the game. I hadn't seen him yet. First down and 10. Hand off up the middle. Nothing doing. Good stop there by Marysville. Maybe a yard or two just because he fell forward. Yep. Your lineman's two there. Devin Tomer had his ankle. Where's where does Devin line up at? Devin's been playing defensive end tonight. They, 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 that was one of the things we talked about doing this week, taking him out of the defensive backfield and uh, at that outside linebacker position and putting him in a D end here on this near side. Paid off there. Blown play. Quarterback just keeps it up the middle. Does a good job with that blown play. He's going to get credit for about five yards. Tell he was confused with where his running back had gone, but he turned it into something. Third and short for Rock Creek. Yeah, and you mentioned it being four down territory before, and it absolutely is here. Rock Creek does have two chances to make these three yards. Unless they like their field goal. Even still, it'd be a long field goal. You're yeah. talking about 35, 42 yarders from here. Yeah, Mac Lee's got quite the leg with the wind at his back. Here's your pass. Caught by Burgess again. This time, I think. She Nope, Dinkbrink's going to bring him down, yep. but he's got just enough for the first down. Yeah, seven more. Yeah, everything moves so fast from a stat standpoint, you're going to have to be on your toes. Indeed. Nine of ten, 72 yards for Whitworth. Somebody's got to put a little pressure on him to make him uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. Here's your first down and ten play for Rock Creek. Pass. He's going to scramble now. But hit. Yeah, down he's going to go short, short gain. Yeah, or no gain, depending on where the final mark is. But Dalton Whitworth with the quarterback keeper, like I said, maybe a yard or two. Almost two, yeah. I thought the spot was maybe a little favorable. I thought he went yeah, down I agree. closer I agree. to that 20. But either way, second and eight. Rock Creek already up and ready. Two minutes to go in the first quarter. Tie ball game, seven to seven. We're at Rock Creek. Uh, oh, up the middle. Four or five chances uh, to get a stop. And he's said he's going to go all the way to the ten. Goes from the from the sixteen to the ten. Third and short. We'll give Rock Creek a ton of credit here. You know, this is their going to be their tenth play of this drive. They're going to run nineteen plays at least in the first quarter. Jaden Winans is the running back there. Said he's going to be the primary back all night. Minute 30 to go in the first quarter. Your snap, it's a quarterback pass, or it's a pass. Quarterback rolls out. He keeps it. Decides to run up the middle for a first down. He's going to have first time yardage. Gain of five, yeah. From the 10 to the 5, first and goal, Rock Creek. High ball game. Still 123 to go in this first quarter. First and goal for the Mustangs. Tied at seven right now. Each team on their, with two possessions. Marysville scored on their first and had to punt it away on their second. Rock Creek scored on their first, and they're knocking on the door here again. Dalton Whitworth looks to his sideline. Calls for the snap. He's got it. He drops back the pass. Quick pass into the wide open. Touchdown. Ethan Burton. Unbelievably wide open there. Yeah, Marysville has some adjustments to go. 56 seconds to go still in the first quarter. We have our third score to break the tie. Burgess with his seventh catch already for 51 yards. Whitworth to Ethan Burgess. 20 plays in two drives for Rock Creek, resulting in 13 points with this extra point looming. Here's your extra Oh, it's blocked. And nothing you can do, no advancing in high school football, so it's going to stay 13 to 7, Rock Creek on top of Marysville. CJ Express is convenient for you with three locations. CJ West in Marysville and Frankfurt offer Hunt Brothers Pizza with all toppings, no extra charge. Crispy and delicious Bird Shack fried chicken and a selection of sandwiches, salads, as well as grab-and-go hot food options that meet your taste. Drop by, call in, order online, or download their super convenient mobile app. Local delivery is available, too. And always count on Sinclair quality gasoline at all three locations with diesel, too, at CJ Express 
East in Marysville and Frankfurt. Welcome back to Rock Creek. Got some feedback that I need to turn myself up, so hopefully that, that fixed it. If not, let me know. Uh, Rock Creek just drove down the field to break the tie. Rock Creek 13, Marysville 7. Marysville scored first. Rock Creek there within eight minutes scored twice. And, and did it in nine plays on the first drive and 11 plays on the second drive. Blocked the extra point. Those things can become crucial mm -hmm. if we're going to be in a shootout. Coach Trimble does not want to be in a shootout, but the only way for him to avoid that is to maintain ball control. And last drive, they, you know, they ran five plays and they had the punts. They've only ran six plays to Rock Creek's 20. Yeah. Here's your kickoff. Deep into the end zone. Touchback. Bears will take over on their 20 again. Last time we took over on the 20, Brooke Williams had an 80-yard run. Right, and so... Rock Creek loves to chuck it, man. Whitworth has already made 11 pass attempts, but only for 77 yards. And so, you know, usually you like to be at about 10 yards per attempt. And and he's not there. That would be at 110 yards. So he's well below that 10 yards per attempt that you like to be at. Now, Marysville last time, when they tried to throw the football, Williams didn't have enough time. Otherwise, every, I thought the offense was going pretty well. Here's your first down play to dive. This time it's Hornbeek in. Tremont Hornbeek, he was not in the last drive. Just a couple. Yep, give him two. Second and eight. Yeah, I think that's generous to call it two. Thank you. Generous. Very good. Yeah. 32 seconds to go here in the first quarter. Marysville trails with the ball. They will have to run one more play before the end of the quarter, I believe. Rooks under center. Otot in motion. To flip to Otot. He's going to try to get the end. No, he's not. He did. He, no. I he don't know if he did. There was just so much hesitation there. I thought maybe he wanted to throw it. But then when I looked downfield and see three offensive linemen 30 yards downfield, he didn't want to throw it. But just a discombobulated play. We'll come back and dissect it. First quarter is in the books. 13-7, Rock Creek over Marysville. Your hometown partner with any do-it-yourself project is Hometown Lumber of Marysville and Axtell Lumber of Axtell. Serving the community for over 20 years, expert knowledge accompanied by a helpful smile and reassuring handshake will tell you you're in the right place. With all your building needs, they are ready to help you. Stocked with a full line of lumber and hardware to go along with tools, plumbing supplies, paint, and lawn and garden, you'll leave knowing you've made the right choice by stopping at Axel Lumber and Hometown Lumber in Marysville. Welcome back. We're in Flush, Kansas at Rock Creek Stadium. Marysville scored first, but Rock Creek responded with two touchdowns of their own. They're on top, 13-7. to seven. Marysville with the ball, but just lost four yards on the last play. So third and 12, not a place that Marysville's offense is... Uh, no, that's not what it's designed made, to do at all. Not made for this. So third and 12 for the, for the Bulldogs. Yeah, and yeah, behind the chains at third and 12 and, and in a position where the defense has shown absolutely zero indication of being able to stop Rock Creek. Uh, forced a fourth down one time forced third down a couple of times, but no ability to get off the field. Rock Creek, two long drives uh, using the air with a little bit of run mixed in. Using the air, you say, but it, the throws are only two or three yards sure. down the field and always towards the out-of-bound line. We call that the flat. All they do is a quick pass to, to those areas. Mary's was so far off the ball that it, it's just an easy conversion. It's just an extension mm -hmm. of the run game. It is. You're absolutely right. Here's your third and 12th play. Option away. Quarterback still has the ball. He's not going to get enough. No, so, Rook with a nice run there. That would have been a great run on second down to make it third and short. It was 12, so we got eight. It went from third and 12 to fourth and four. Well, do you really? I mean, it's awful early in the game to start taking chances, but you got to really ask yourself, how many times are you going to be able to get this football down just one score? And it looks like Marysville's going to go for it. Fourth and four play. Look, him, look at him to try to draw Rock Creek off. No, they, they, yeah, they were just trying for the hard count. We're in the second quarter, 11.22 to go until halftime. Marysville down six. 
with the ball, but at a fourth and fourth deep in their own territory. Yeah, so I, I don't hate the trying to draw offsides, you know, because you're into the second quarter. Half, timeouts aren't near the premium in the first half as they are in the second. But at the same time, you did have to burn this timeout. And now I still think there's a decision to be made. It is, it is riverboat gambling type decision. But honestly, we have seen nothing to this point, Brian, that says whether you give Rock Creek a 10-yard field or a 90-yard field, that Marysville defense is going to stop them. Yep. So your best bet, your best defense here might be to go ahead and run this play and say we're going to run our best play right here, keep our offense on the field. Yeah, last punt netted 15 or 17 yards. That's uh, the other issue, and, for sure. And Marysville does have their wind, the wind at our backs now. Which does change things maybe a little bit in your in your coach's mind of, of okay you know if we can get a high punt this one's going to go like and it is a pretty good breeze you go and look at that flag and it's yeah. flipping pretty hard yeah when we walked in it was it was blowing pretty good now where we sit it's uh, temperature control yeah. well Devin Tomer is going to go back to punt and and don't get me wrong this is the right decision but I do think it was a little harder decision than it might look just by down and distance and position on the field. Yeah, and if Marysville could have that first one back, I think they go for it on on third and ten. Here's your snap. Your punt. Oh, oh, straight shake. up in the air. Lands at the 42 of Marysville. Doesn't even get to the 50. So the injury to Peyton Smith. Uh, yep, rears its head there. Yeah, showing itself. Not only on the offensive end, but in special teams. So Rock Creek started at their own 40, their own 48, and now the Marysville 47. So that field position has been all in Rock Creek's favor, and they've taken advantage of it the first two times. 60-yard touchdown drive and 52-yard touchdown drives. Shortest field yet starting in Marysville territory is Rock Creek. 11 minutes to go until halftime. Rock Creek up 13-7. to No pressure. All time to throw. Throws it off into the flats again. It's going to be five or six yards there on first down. No pressure on the quarterback and no one in the flats. Garden who who caught that pass? pass? Uh, I'm not sure. Whoever you put down, maybe number five. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. So many targets and it is a little harder to see. To distinguish their numbers. Yeah, as it got dark, it sure is. Yeah. Second, maybe a long five. There's your snap. Quick pass. Wide open is Navarra. He's going to have a first down and more. Down to the 25 of Marysville. All the way to the 25. 17-yard gain. So Dalton Whitworth, the quarterback to Maddox Navarra. Rock Creek wastes no time. They're already up, ready to snap. There's your snap. Hand off inside. Hit at the line, then move, forced to move side to side. He's going to lose yards. He's going to lose yards, but a half a dozen missed tackles again. Hayden Winans, once again, the ball carrier. Concordia 8, Hiawatha 0 into the first quarter. Rose Hill 6, Abilene 0 for those of you following the NCKL. First district match for Rock Creek. Marysville 1 0. Just beat Concordia, so hearing that they're ahead of Hiawatha is not a bad thing at all for us. Or is it? Here's your snap. Quick pass out. Completed again. He makes another guy miss, but this time he falls. Mm -hmm. Gain of at least five, maybe six. Burgess again. Number one, Ethan Burgess. What is that, eight, nine receptions? Eight receptions, yep. Give him six yards, third and four coming up. 13-14, 13-14, 105 yards for Whitworth. Marysville still with that 10, 12-yard cushion. Uh, and and they, they gave it. So Marysville's jumped off sides twice now. Rock Creek, it would have been nice if they'd have done it when we'd had the opportunity to try and force them to do it. But Rock yeah. Creek, just disciplined enough not to let that happen. First down, Rock Creek. Marysville struggling defensively to get off the field. Rock Creek taking a little more time. 8.50 to go until half. Rock Creek on top, 13-7. to 
with the ball and driving inside the 20. Quick pass, but it's, he was short this time. Intended receiver was number five, Maddox Ibarra. And that's just a plain miss. Mm-hmm. It was there. Mm-hmm. It was no different than all the other ones. He just kind of short on that and chucked it, and it fell about a yard in front of the intended receiver. Colton Shotty was there, ready for the tackle, but unfortunately, Marysville's first defender has not successfully made the tackle, I don't think, yet tonight. No, I don't know that one guy has made an open field tackle yet. Definitely something Marysville's going to have to talk about, maybe the amount of yardage for their cushion, and also wrapping up and getting that first tackle. Second and ten after the incompletion. Quick pass forward, Ibarra. He gets up to the 10, down to the 8. From the, what, the 13? Yep. The five-yard gain. Third and five, there is a first down, first down line to gain at the 3. This is for Rock Creek, looking to go up two touchdowns. It's a fast-paced style of football, isn't it? So there are signs here right in front of us. They, they say different things on each side side, side of each sign, and, and they're codes for what the play is going to be. Quarterback has the ball. He's got pressure this time. He has to step forward out of it, throws it late. It's going to be I, I don't know. Did he come down with that? They're going to call that a catch. A catch for a yard. If the side judge is, is where the ball ends up, it's a catch for a yard. Craneville with Craneville number three. I, I've noticed he's, he's bringing some plays in from time to time, but that was his first. We're going to give him one yard on that? Yep. Well, that's what I had. Okay. Maybe two or three. <laughs> the, the side marker. Well, down here. This is huge. I'm not sure. Sure, I wouldn't take a timeout if I were Rock Creek. Think this over, but. 7.20 to go. They're not in any big hurry. No play clocks out on this field. The side, they may just try to draw Mary's off side. Nope, nope, there's your snap. He ain't up up the middle. Here's Wide the open. Here's the goal. Touchdown, Jaden Wynan with a six-yard run. His second of the night. So Marysville with a chance to get the defense off the field without giving up points. Instead, give up a six-yard touchdown run, and the fireworks continue to go off after every Rock Creek score, which there's been three of in this quarter and not quite a half here in Flush. The last extra point was blocked by Marysville, so so this time Rock Creek keeps their offense yeah. the field. Yeah, they're going to chase it, and I think that's okay. But... Now there's here's, your signs. Confusion. here's your signs of what so the coach calls the play and then the the JV players hold up the signs or freshman players hold up the signs as, as to what it's going to be. Two-point conversion play. Hand off up the middle. I think he got it. Oh, yeah, he did. It's Ibarra number four. Yeah, Maddox Ibarra with the two-point conversion. Rock Creek goes on top, 20, 21-7. Honeyman Auto Sales and Service. Drive by or check inventory online at HoneymanAuto.com. You can even schedule a test drive online as well. With lots of choices, Honeyman works to make yours the best buying experience with customer service a top priority. Competitive pricing, knowledgeable staff, and superior customer service right here at home. With a full service shop and a selection of both cars and trucks in all price ranges, see Honeyman Auto Sales and Service East Pony Express Highway. Marysville today. Welcome back to Flush. Brian Crutt and Jason Brenninger bringing you some Friday night lights action. It's homecoming night here at Rock Creek uh, where Marysville is trailing 21-7. Still 7.06 to go in this first half. This is a game that is in the balance right now. If Marysville does not control the ball for a period of time and gives it back to Rock Creek in a three and out or a four and five, six and out, then you can just about forget it right here. Marysville has shown defensively absolutely no ability to control Rock Creek offensively. That they must be able to go in at halftime without it being 35 to seven to make the adjustments that are necessary. And that is on the offense right now to make that happen. In Rock Creek's winning efforts, they score in the mid forties every time. They've lost one game and only scored 26. They're nearly there now. Back lead to kick. Not as big of a boot into the wind. Caught at the 15. Brought up to the 30. Keegan Brought down the 
That's a fully great return by oh, Waters. Yeah, just really kind of had a one man to beat. Good return by Waters, good field position for the Bulldogs, something they have not enjoyed to this portion of the football game. 20-yard line start twice and the 21 once before. Waters there ran ran with a little bit more emotion and looked like he knew what he was doing. He looked like a, it was a good call to yeah, step in. He did a great job following a blocker right there, yep. too. To get, yep. He got to that initial mass of players, found a blocker, slid in behind him. Good return. Yep, great job by the freshman Keegan Waters there. First down, Marysville. 50-yard lines to gain. Big hand up to the first guy. Give it to the second. It's Red. This is Red. From Rook to Red, and he's going to get it. Really close. I, I don't know where they're going to mark him at. Probably at eight. This side judge comes back to one yard shy. Okay, nine, nine yards. yards. That's Rhett's first carry, which is a little bit surprising to me. I thought they would try to get to the ball in his hands fairly early and fairly often. Otot with three carries. Rook has four carries. One of those is sacked, though. Hornby could carry, Slubiana could carry, and now Rhett with his first. Second and one, right where Marysville likes to be, the Jason, this is the best down and distance in the playbook, right? Yes, absolutely. Other than first and five, maybe. There's your snap. Hornby up the middle. He's going to go for six, maybe seven. Yeah. Yeah, seven. This is just what the doctor ordered, but you, you just can't finish this until you put another 44 yards on it and put six points on the board. And preferably do it in about five minutes and 59 seconds from now. We're at 603-2-1 going in this first half. And, of course, Coach Trimble recognizing that he's in absolutely no hurry. Marysville does not huddle up, but, but they're not the same hurry-up style as Rock Creek. No, no, absolutely not. It's, it's deliberate. First and 10, Marysville in Rock Creek territory on the Rock Creek 44. There's your snap. Fake hand up up the middle. Quarterback keep. He's going to lose. Two. So Rock Creek has made an adjustment on that, and now Marysville has to make the counter adjustment. And frankly, the counter adjustment is one more play. Well, the give is fine, but there's also the pitch that comes off of that. And usually you want to see the pitch later, but if they're just committed to quarterback, just go. Fake the dive, yep. pitch it quick. Option play on the first play of the game uh, went 80 yards. Rook kept it. Obviously, Rock Creek has, has adapted. Second and 12 after the two-yard loss. Sometimes that's a personnel adaptation. Sometimes that's just moving a guy a foot over. Rhett in motion, and it is a quick flip to Rhett. Rhett's got the edge. He's up. He's got the first right at the first down chains. I'm not sure if he's got it. Depends on where. The That's what I are. absolutely love about option football. Is if it's ran properly from the offensive side of things, you cannot stop all three. You yeah. can't. Be not high school. You can't. That's 16 yards on that carry, from the 46 to the 30. Oh, after no. the two yard loss, you're right. Yeah, because it was. Yeah, it was. It was second and 12. Yeah, and he's on the 30 yard yeah. line. So give him 16. 16. So Marysville at the Rock Creek 30, as we said, first down. They look over. They get the play. Rook's going to go under center in their standard formation. Horn beat behind him. Otod off to his left. Red off to his right. Quarterback keeper following the dive. It's going to work for five yards. Exactly what Marysville wants to do is get four or five yards every, yep. every play. And, you know, look, I cannot tell you how much I enjoy watching properly ran option football, and that's what we've seen on this drive, and it's really kind of fun to watch. I also love the manipulation of the clock here. This is a big deal. It's now 420 and counting, and there was 7-something and counting, and I was very much afraid of a quick three and out and Rock Creek having plenty of time to put up another score before half. That doesn't look to be the case now. Here's your second and five play. Snap. Quick pitch. He's only going to get a couple yards. He bobbled it. I don't know if that's Ota or, R- or Rhett Williams. Ota. It's Ota. He bobbled it. I think he's just glad to get up with mm-hmm. the ball. Give him two, which is fine. Yep, yep. When you, get, when you get five on first down, you can stand just to get two because it's third and three, and you have two tries to get three yards. Yeah, it's absolutely, you are right, two tries to get these three yards. There is no question what will happen if Marysville gets positive yards here, but not enough for a first down. They will run another yeah, If they lose 10 yards, they're going to run. 
3.30 to go in the first half. Your snap. Quarterback still has it. He pitches late to his brother, Red. Red lowers his shoulders for first down. He's going to go from the 23 to the 16, I believe. Maybe even all the way up to the 15. Yeah. I'll give him eight on that. That's three carries for 33 yards all on this drive for Rhett Williams. And it's all been via the option pitch, the third choice in all of that. And it's there every play. That is, that is true option football. It is, I'm sure it's been said in, you know, once in a while, hey, make sure you do this, but it's Rook's decision. Here's your first and 10 play for Marysville. 2.58 to go. Quarterback still has it. He gets the edge. Makes the guy miss. He's going to be taken down. Really close to the goal line. line. Touchdown, Marysville. 15 yard run. Rook Williams, his second of the night, puts him over 100 yards, too. Seven carries, 104 yards, and two touchdowns for Rook Williams. Marysville fighting to get themselves back in this football game. 2.49 to go until halftime. Jack Lauer wearing that 35, which confused us earlier. Well, at least me. Uh, is out for the extra points. Now got the wind at his back. Ball down at the 10. Here's your snap. Ball's down. Kick looks up. It's good. Rock Creek 21, Marysville 14. Generations have relied on Kinsley's of Marysville, the Patton Funeral Chapel in Frankfurt, Hanover Mortuary, Ward Funeral Homes of Lynn in Washington, and Landreth Axtell Funeral Home. You can continue to rely on the professional experience that they provide and the heartfelt concern that they offer each family that they serve. Caring concern in your family's time of need. Welcome back to Rock Creek. I was harassing Jason because yeah. we scored too fast. Well, I think that's absolutely something to consider here is that I, I, I'm sorry. I, I love Maryland football. I'm a huge supporter. But I have seen nothing in the first four possessions, excuse me, three possessions of Rock Creek that convinced me that in this fourth possession that they won't score. Nothing. Agreed. We, they, Rock Creek did have a couple fourth downs. Yes. Converted uh, partially due to uh, going off sides. Yep. Partially because Marysville's just giving him too much space and that quick pass into the flat, they could walk forward for the three or four yards that well, they needed. The biggest issue in my mind is that Whitworth is 14 of 16 for 110 yards. He has not had any pressure on him, but maybe once. Yeah. And he's just been uh, ball in. It's almost like uh, just backyard football. It's yep. a like a seven-on-seven seven drill at this point. And Marysville has got to do something to, A, put pressure on the quarterback, and, B, be closer to those wide receivers when the ball is thrown. I think he's a great pocket passer. He has not proven that he can be mobile. No. Uh, but Marysville hasn't forced him to. Here's your kickoff. Once again, it's Jack Lauer. Pretty good boot. Going to be fielded. Oh, oh no. Oh, the ball going to the ground. Oh, it's okay. It's recovered at the 23 uh, by Ibarra, who, who failed to catch it. Hey, what are you doing? I'm the excited one, okay? You calm down. Sure. Don't get all excited and scream, right. scream through the radio. Sure. That's I, my job. I need to say what's going on here that night. <laughs> so, anyway, <laughs> Maddox Ibarra uh, got hit in the chest when he was trying to field the ball. It bounced from the 15 all the way up to the 23. Yeah. And, it was and, fortunate to fall on. And fortunate to fall on it, and that's fortunate for Rock Creek. What's fortunate for Marysville is that this is by far the Rock Creek's worst, worst field position in their in their four starts. First and ten, Rock Creek, two forty six to go until halftime. Rock Creek has a has a touchdown lead. We've got some pressure on the quarterback. He's scrambling, throws it late. It's going to hit the ground incomplete. Second and ten. Couple things we saw. Nobody, no receivers. Uh, we're looking for passes out in the flats. They were they all went deep, and Marysville finally got some pressure in. And and when uh, when Dalton Whitworth is forced to scramble, he's he's he loses a little accuracy. Absolutely, and he kind of panicked there before I think he even had to. I think he could have set his feet and made a good throw, but he did not. And that's that's what you need to see, and that's what high school quarterbacks will do: five wide, three to the near side, two to the far. Here's quarterback draw. Quarterback's going to keep it, which is. 
not exactly what Rock Creek wants because that's going to keep the clock moving. Yeah, they do have a couple of timeouts at their disposal. I think maybe even all three. Third and three. I don't see where on the... Eight for Whitworth on that. And the referees are getting together. No, was, there might have been a flag down. Seven for Whitworth's house. Do you see any laundry on the field? I don't. They just did something pointing. Yeah. Personal foul on the defense. Huh. Unfortunately, my conduct is that what that is? I didn't. I didn't see anything, but that doesn't mean it wasn't there. Huh. So it's going to be third and three. Mm-hmm. Said it's first and ten. They get fifteen yards. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of yardage, especially in this situation. Still two twenty to go in this first half. Now a discussion here with the Rock Creek coaching staff. They're going to reset the clock, maybe. Shane Steven, the head coach here. He's been the head coach here for football, I think, three, maybe four years. He's been the baseball coach for a while prior to that. He's got things rolling pretty good down here. So the White Hats trying to talk to both coaches. They want to put more time on the clock. I see the Rock Creek sideline saying 245. Oh, 225. 225, yeah. So they five, five seconds. seconds. Could become relevant. First and 10, Rock Creek. First down to gain will be in Marysville territory. Your snap. Deep throw downfield. Will Ota hits Ota it away. knocks it away. Good job by Ota. Had a key takeaway last week, did Ota. That was intended for number one, Ethan Burgess. Rock Creek failing on the flats game. Marysville playing a little deeper, which they've been playing pretty deep all night anyway. Yeah, you got one, two, three, four, five defensive backs on the field. It's not six, six, excuse me, yeah. six, yeah. It's not six. So five guys committed to stopping the run and or pressuring the quarterback. Six guys to stop the pass. Here's your snap. Quick pass away to Ibarra. Caught. Got five, six, seven yards. Clock continues to run. 204, 203. Seven yards on that. It's not eight or nine. Into Marysville territory. Ball's on the Marysville 45. That's nine. Plenty of time for Rock Creek, a minute 52. They're up a touchdown over the Bulldogs. Hand off up the middle. Jaden Wyden needed to get two yards. I see fourth down on the side. Marker. Yeah, he's just so going to give him a yard. Give him one yard, fourth and inches. Rock Creek in a hurry. They've not wasted a lot of time. I'm surprised. Uh, there's your timeout. Yeah. No, no? No, they're just resetting their offense here. Huh. It almost looks like they want to go in the halftime. Oh, I think they feel like with the, with a minute 20, they can do whatever they want as long as they get this first down. Letting every second come off the clock. Minute 13, minute 11. Super strange. Yeah, your snap. Hand up inside. He's got plenty of yards. Uh oh. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, he's down to the One 20. Little well, Ocot takes the touchdown down to the 15. 28 yard gain. And timeout now, Rock Creek. We're going to keep it right here. That was the same play that they ran on the touchdown run where he went six yards on touch for a score on the previous possession. They ran it, and he was six yards before he was touched there, and then he wasn't touched even at that point in time. Found a seam in the defense all the way down to the 15. Thank goodness for Otot's speed. Otherwise, it was going to be a touchdown. Now time is absolutely not a factor for Rock Creek. A minute uh, left to go and only 15 yards to go to Pater. Uh, fortunate turn of events for the Marysville Bulldogs, and one of those unfortunate events was the 15-yard personal foul penalty. Yeah, which was going to be third and three, which a great opportunity Marysville to get off the field yeah. if they get a stop Because if they got a stop there, you would have had to punt the football yeah, away. Not, not on 30, yeah. yeah it would have been worth the risk uh, to go for it on fourth down at that point. Yeah. So now first down, Rock Creek, five-yard line to game. That's just their first time out. So the, the, the time is not even going to be an issue. Very full down. They scored on their first possession, 80 yards, excuse me, first play, 80-yard run by Rook Williams. Then three 
Rock Creek touchdowns put Rock Creek up 21 to seven. And Marysville, just a minute and a half ago, added on one 21-14. How many of these games, in in wins and in losses, does, does Marysville go into halftime in a one touchdown game? Yeah, uh, almost all of them. Uh, not almost. It's you got to remember. You got to remember also. Rock Creek's going to get a chance to double up. They're going to get the ball to start the second half. Yeah, Marysville needing needing a big stop here. Here's your play. Oh, pass is completed, but gain of only three. Well, uh, they give him some four progress. Four, yeah. yeah, four progress for, for four. Burgess, Ethan Burgess, the receiver. Nine catches already for Burgess. Just 61 yards. Clock's running, but. But really not an issue. Dalton Whitworth gets the snap, hands it off. Plenty of room to run. All the way down the line. Is he in? No. Ten yards on that run, though, by Winans. And Ruckery's going to take a timeout. We're going to continue to stay here. We burned through our timeout thanks to uh, the uh, ill timing of the uh, (laughs) national anthem and the guy running the commercials. that's all right, though. So just to kind of talk about where we're at right at this minute, it is first and goal marked at the four. So Winans run wasn't as near as far as I thought. It was just seven, yeah. And and so now, though, time, I think, is a little bit of a factor here, Brian, and that you've got to find a way to get in the end zone I, I think Rock Creek has a timeout left. I could be wrong about that. They may have two. And that's they don't good. have two. They they, don't, okay. They have one or zero. Okay, very good. And so that's a very significant factor here in that you cannot run the football if you don't have a timeout. You're going to have to throw it. I don't think Rock Creek is very afraid of throwing it, but one of the things they've been successful at is hitting the flats. Well, now you've just shortened the flats up so much because the safeties don't have to worry about anything deep. So the corners can come up and be right on those flats, and then those safeties can be in the five-yard area and hopefully take that away and maybe be able to turn Rock Creek away here right before halftime. This is a pivotal, pivotal point in this football game. We have quad receivers to the far side. A little diamond setup. I love it. And Mary's going to take a timeout. They don't, well, you, they don't have the personnel to match. Probably not. And so now you only get so much time during the week to prepare for your game, right? And so you don't hit everything that a team does. And so you might have seen that on film, um, but you didn't work on it during the week. And so coaches know what it is, and now they're going to go to the sidelines and talk about it. What I imagine, though, is you're going to see Rock Creek come out in something entirely different. Sure. Sure. So what do you do against four people. You just you jam the first guy. Well, that first guy play. has to get just blown up. Yeah. And then everybody else has responsibility. If, if somebody goes out, you got to stay out. If somebody goes in, you got to stay in. It's, it's, it's assignment football. So, but the so number you one... It, you don't man man No, you can't man the man it because it, it, there's just too much traffic. Mm-hmm. And, and it's, a, it, it's a legal pick that's going to happen by its own nature of it. You just but the, the key is that, that absolutely that first that guy up front has to just be blown up, and his route is now irrelevant. Yep, we used to send the linebacker out. That first linebacker, I think of Alex Rombeck and Mark Hartz would blow that up, yep. and the play never even gets to what, happen. What I'm afraid of, uh, what, what I like to focus off when I'm playing, uh, uh, I'm the offensive coordinator, and I put that diamond together. I want you to be focused on it defensively, and then I'm going backside. Yep. I, I love a backside tight end out of that. They don't have a tight end here. They have a, a wide receiver yep. who currently is off the ball and can't be. There he goes. Yeah. on it. Ethan Burgess is close. He's got a man on him. Four to the opposite side. There's your snap. Looks to the four. He's getting, oh, the ball hits the ground. Incomplete. Incomplete. And that's uh, actually uh, the second Fortunate. best thing that could have happened to Rock Creek. Yeah. Had that ball been caught, the tackle was going to be right there, and then the clock would have ran. Instead, it stops. And then Rock Creek's going to set up in it again. Whitworth, 17 of 22, 124 yards in this first half. So Rock Creek changing things up here before halftime. Mm-hmm. I don't know why. Mays was not put somebody up on there to blow up that first guy. Quarterback keeper up the middle. That's what I know. It's just, it's a numbers game. Touchdown, Rock Creek. Uh, yeah, so Mays will set, commits all their, all their guys to the outside. Yep. And the, the middle's wide open. <laughs> 
So that was intentional for them. Oh, for sure. And I, I don't even I, – I think that Coach Steven's idea was I don't really care if that play we ran before does any good or not. Right. I wanted to see what the middle looked like so if I could run my middle play. And he, he liked what he saw. Guys upstairs told him it was okay. He ran it, and it worked very well. And fireworks go again. 22 seconds until halftime. That was the sixth score of the first half. On just eight possessions between these two teams. The Mac Lee extra point nearly put again, but it does go up and through. So it's 28. Rock Creek, Marysville 14. And we continue to stay right here. Sure. So that when I push the button the next time, we can go to half the proper way, as opposed to a week ago. Mm-hmm. But so the, the real issue here is, is that Rock Creek gets the ball to start the second half. It could be 35 to 14 the next time Marysville touches the ball offensively. First thing about that is, is that absolutely adjustments need to be made at halftime by the Marysville defensive staff, whether it's. Uh, personnel, whether it's placement, whether it's scheme entirely. Those flats have just been killer because the, the throw was easy, the throw was quick. You don't have to worry about – You didn't have, the quarterback doesn't have to worry about pressure even if you could get it yep. because the ball's out so quick. So you've got to say in the second half, if we're going to get beat by the pass, it's not going to be in the flats. If you can make that adjustment, get Rock Creek off the field one time, you can stay in this football game. But – being down three scores is not where Marysville is comfortable. Nope, they're not designed to score quickly. Uh, Dalton Whitworth's stats are going to look phenomenal, but when he was forced to throw the ball downfield, not as effective as a quarterback. When he sticks to the flats, he is lights out. Back lead to kick off 22 seconds. So Jason was wrong. They're going to touch the ball right now. Oh, it's a squib fielded by Marysville at the 46, 47 yard line. So short field, but only 22 seconds. So there's the athletes to do what needs to be done. If you remember uh, a week ago, it's the hook and ladder. I think that once you put that out there, it's done. Uh, it's done. But uh, I, I've I've watched Tony Trimble offenses a lot, doing games and and such over the years for Valley Heights. His playbook is deep, and it gets fun when it gets deep. So hopefully we'll get to see a little bit of that. Rock Creek puts an extra extra guy back. No, they bring everybody back up. Quarterback has the ball running. Past the 50 to the 48. And timeout. Mary's Five by Williams. Rook, that is. Four or five seconds go off the clock uh, that shouldn't have. Yeah, I'm not so sure what was the delay in taking that time out. It, you had to have had your mind made up what you were going to do if, in all the scenarios, no gain, minus yards, plus five, plus 20, all of that should have been uh, predetermined and about five seconds went away there that, that shouldn't have. So with 12-2, there is an opportunity to probably run two plays if, if the first one's incomplete. Um but that'd be it. Two is probably the max here. And Williams does have a pretty strong arm. Can they get him the time to just try to throw something up for grabs? I don't know if that's what you want to do or if you want to go trickeration, maybe a little, uh, you know, the, the hook and ladder we mentioned a week ago is off limits, but maybe something in the middle of the field with, uh, that, that might be able to get to an edge with a missed tackle. Because right now Rock Creek's talking about, hey, look, you can't let them get out of bounds. You can't let them get out of bounds. But what that does is makes hash mark to hash mark pretty wide open. Up the middle, yep. Remember a year ago in in the Hoyer offense, uh, Rook Williams was forced to throw the ball a lot. So, mm-hmm. so he's no stranger to throwing the ball. Here's the offense discussing something. Here's your second and five play. It's Brett Williams in the round. He's yep. going to get a first down. Six, seven yards. They take that last time out. Yep. We'll get up to set up quickly. He's just going to let it go. What happened here? So, something didn't happen. Some, there's some clock management issue, I believe, upstairs. Not by the players and coaches. 
a little home trigger on that clock, maybe? Well, yeah, the ball was never set. You gotta wait for the whistle to blow. Are they gonna do an untimed down here, or what? No, I think that now they realize that the clock went to zero. Maybe they will do it. That's 5.5. No, 5.5 goes back on the clock. And it's gonna be... <laughs> They're just gonna yeah. spike it. So that's gonna make Williams 0 for 1 in the first half. Not, not, that, that was the, you know, it's, it's a pass attempt in your stat sheet, but not only one pass play called by the Marysville offense in this first half, and that was resulted in a sack. Um, I, true, true. Still suspect you're going to see one here. That would be the intent of spiking the ball, right? Yeah, I mean, I guess you, you know, run a reverse, but you've got to ask a lot for any player to get 40 yards on the ground. I think you got to expect yeah. some of this to go in the air. Sure. We'll see. The last play of the first half. It's gonna be it's gonna be a pass from Rhett to Will Otot, but uh, yeah. Rogue Rock Creek was not fooled at all. So we're gonna head into halftime. Rock Creek. So here's what we're gonna do, Brian. Yeah. I'm sorry to no, you're good. We're yeah. gonna try this a little different, and uh, well, Bruce is probably already mad at me because I forgot my play sheet anyway. So we're gonna change the format just a little bit. We're going to go to break, do news, weather, and sports, and when we come back from that, we're going to do stats, scoring, and bring you the second half of this football game. Rock Creek leads Marysville in Flush, Kansas, 28-14. News, weather, and sports coming up. At Galloway Uyghurs and Brenniger, we're about building relationships, one client and one issue at a time. I'm Jason Brenniger, and I invite you to visit with me for any legal services you might have, including probate, estate planning, and trust administration. Advanced planning has countless advantages to your family, including greater control and disposition of your assets and tax issues that might come up. Call for a no-obligation appointment today. Check us out on our Facebook page or at gwblaw.net. Raise your hand if you need more internet speed. It's time to get your hands on much faster internet. Don't settle for yesterday's internet speed when you have a home full of today's devices. Upgrade your Blue Valley Technologies internet speed now to the speed you need and get a $50 bill credit. If you're new to Blue Valley, you get two months free and everyone gets free installation on managed Wi-Fi. Visit bluevalley.net forward slash raise your hand today. Sunflower Community Credit Union recognizes that members' health, both personal and financial, is top priority. In order to make your banking a completely safe experience, they're proud to now offer drive-in convenience. Monday through Friday, 7.30 till 5.30, Saturday, 8.30 till noon. Lending can be done remotely as well. Contact their friendly loan officers at 562-3741. New members always welcome. Call, go online, or drop by Sunflower Community Credit Union in Marysville for more details. Caring about your personal and financial health, Sunflower Community Credit Union. It's halftime as Marysville trails Rock Creek 14 to 28. It's homecoming at Rock Creek. And Brian, in this first half, we saw Rock Creek just push the football down the field in all four of their possessions, coming up with 28 points. Marysville with 14 has done good in two of their possessions, had to punt it away in two others. That's the difference in the ball game. What I'm fearful of is what happens to start this third quarter, Rock Creek with the football again. But before that happens, how about you recap how we got here? Yeah, absolutely. So, Marysville, uh, excuse me, Rock Creek won the coin flip, elected it to first, so they will get the ball to start the second half. But they kicked it off to Marysville. Marysville on the first play of the game, 80 yard run by Rook Williams. Extra point was good. Marysville starts off on top, 7 0. Uh, a couple minutes later, Rock Creek drives right down the field, scores on a run by Jaden Winans. It was a one-yard run. Extra point was good, 7-7 tie. Marysville, I don't believe they went three and out, but it might have been seven and or six and out, not very many plays. Uh, punt it right back to Rock Creek. Rock Creek drives down the field again. Five ends with a five-yard pass from uh, Dalton Whitworth to Ethan Burgess, a five-yard pass. Extra point was blocked. 13 to 7 was the end of the first quarter. In the second quarter, there's six scores, so bear with me here. <laughs> In the second quarter, we have a six yard run by Jaden Winans. Two point conversion was good by Ibarra to get back on track, 21 to 7. Marysville responds with a 15 yard run by Rook Williams, his second touchdown rush of the game. Extra point was good, 
21-14, Rock Creek. And then Rock Creek punched one in right before with 20 seconds left to go before half. Dalton Whitworth on a four-yard run. Extra point was good. 28-14, to 14, that's how we got here. So, statistically-wise, you know, interesting here is that it's not that far off, even though it's two scores. 219 total yards of offense for Rock Creek, so they've been a major benefactor of their short field, starting at their own 40, their own 48, and the Marys of a 47 in their first three drives. Uh, rushing the football, 16 carries, 95 yards spread out between two players. That's uh, number nine, Jaden Winans, who has 11 carries for 73 yards and two of the touchdowns. Number four quarterback, Dalton Whitworth, five carries, 22 yards, and a touchdown. Whitworth throwing the football, 17 of 22 for 124 yards and a touchdown pass to at least one, two, three, four, five, six different receivers. Burgess has nine for 61 and a touchdown. Spiller a catch for seven yards. I thought I has four catches for 42 yards. Venduska has a catch for 10 yards, and Craneville has a catch for a yard. So Rock Creek... Very balanced offensively in terms of not only the plays ran, 16 to 22, a lot more pass plays maybe, but yardage-wise, 95 rushing, 219, or 124 in the air for a total of 219 on 38 plays. Marysville, in contrast, 21 plays, 169 yards, each and every one of them on the ground. Otot has four carries for 10 yards. Rhett Williams has four carries for 40 yards. Rook Williams has eight carries for 109 yards and two touchdowns. Hornbeek has two carries for nine yards, and Slupionic has a carry for a yard. Rook is 0 for 1 passing. Rhett is 0 for 1 passing. So 169 yards of total offense for Marysville. The key, though, Brian, to this football game going forward is has Marysville found a way to stop Rock Creek's offense? They're 4 for 4 touching the football. You're exactly right. Marysville's got to get their defense off the field and offensively continue to eat that clock away. I thought they did all right offense. I think they did okay. There was two drives in the middle. There was a five and out. You mentioned you weren't sure how many plays it was. Yeah. It was a five and out and then a three and out. And then the, the first drive was a touchdown on one play, and then that third drive was a nice eight-play drive that ended in a touchdown. So the ball control is probably Marysville's best defense is with the ball in their hands and long drives. Frankly, uh, you mentioned it and we talked about it. They may have scored just too quickly going in, the, uh, in that second quarter to give Rock Creek just, just enough time to score again. Yeah, but what do you what do? You, do? you, you, oh, want you to, can't stop yeah, it. Yeah, you, you got to get it in zone. When, you, when you're down 21-7, to 7, you don't hold back. It, so. That's right. So at this point in time, we've kind of broken down what's got us here. We've talked about what to expect in the second half. What's going to happen now is we're going to take a short break, and we're going to have that second half for you right here. KNUI Radio, 94.1 FM, 15.70 AM, streaming live on the Internet. And for goodness sakes, why haven't you got the app? That's all you got to do. Go to your app store. Get it downloaded, and you can listen to us anytime, anywhere. We'll be right back with the second half right after this. Bremen Farmers Mutual Insurance, providing high-quality coverage and service, all at a competitive premium cost. Since 1888, Bremen Farmers Mutual has offered homeowner, farm owner, business owner, fire, and inland marine coverage. Dependable and affordable. See your local agent representing Bremen Farmers Mutual Insurance. Learn more about the various insurance products offered by going online at bfmic.com. Farmers, they're the lifeblood of America. The men and women who tackle the toughest jobs to put clothes on our backs and food on our tables. They might do it quietly, but their genuine values and tireless work ethic are an inspiration to us all. Some might say farming is a thankless occupation, so that's why we're taking the time to say thanks. Farm Bureau Financial Services, protecting what matters most. Patrick Booty in Marysville is your local agent with Marshall County, Farm Bureau Insurance, and Farm Bureau Financial Services. 28-14, Rock Creek leads Marysville. The half is nearly over. A minute to go. It was homecoming here at Rock Creek. The teams are all out, back out on the field. We're about ready for second half action. Marysville is going to kick it left to right to Rock Creek. And we're going to try the uh, mini lamp, see how it goes. <laughs> Well, that's like not that. too bad. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. These, the uh, facilities here are, are excellent. Uh, well, at least for us. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. I would say uh, the field's okay. Well, that's one of the things here. They've done a great job with the facilities here. I mean, the, the track is 
great. Mm-hmm. What we've got up here is great. The baseball and softball fields are great. The football field has got to be next. Yeah, it just has to be. Yep. All right. Jack Lauer, the kickoff into the wind. It's not as strong as it was at the start of the game, but it hasn't died down either. I know the kids from Marysville that are on the roof are freezing their tails off. I made fun of them at halftime. Here's your kickoff. Marysville's offside. It's not going to be called. Yeah, I was thinking that same thing. <laughs> Caught at the 15. What? Is it ball out? I don't know. Grant Hayfley tried to chase that down from behind. He came from clear across the field, got behind the runner, looked like he made t- contact. But I, I thought the runner was down at about the 25 or 30. Yeah, he's all the way out to about the 37. Okay. So that's where Rock Creek was set up shop already with a two-score lead. I never even saw the ball carrier go that direction. First and 10. Marysville has not stopped Rock Creek on offense. No, Whitworth to Burgess has been a big deal. Nine receptions for Burgess in that first half. Trips our side. There's your snap. Hand off up the middle. Makes the first two guys miss. And a slew of Marysville Bulldogs take him down, but not after, or, but it comes after a six-yard game. Second and four coming up. Let's try to see who all was in on that. Tristan Schaefer, I know, was one of them. Too many missed tackles. Well, the, yes, and so what happens is you you really, really teach this as a defensive coordinator. Second guy reach for the football. What's happening right now is you see a lot of first guys reaching for that football to try to rip it out, and it's just they're bouncing off. Trips are set again. Second and four play is a pass. Thrown downfield by Whitworth. He's got a receiver. Incomplete. Brooks was trailing the play, just put his hands up, which is about 10 feet. Yeah, he's <laughs> long wingspan. Yes. Ball falls harmlessly to the turf. Vinduska did kind of have a step on him, but that ball was in the air so long it allowed Rook to catch up. Rook's played some good football these last couple of weeks and on the offensive and defensive side. You're exactly right. Third and four now. Good opportunity for Marysville if they can get a stop here. Tina up the middle. Not going to get a stop on this nope. set of downs. Because Jaden Winans, the running back, he's big, he runs hard. They give him six on that. Six yards on third and four. First and ten for Rock Creek right at midfield. First possession of the second half to pass. Wide open wide oh, receiver. There's he's nobody first. there. He's going to go clear down to the. 29 for a game of 21. And he's caught so many balls, I just don't understand where the Marysville defenders are. Well, I'll tell you what they did there is that they ran him, they ran the D-backs off so far, mm-hmm. there just wasn't anybody left. Mm-hmm. Here's your first and 10 play. Rock Creek wastes no time. Oh, the quarterback just barely evades the sack and gets rid of the ball very wisely. Great quarterback play there by Dalton Whitworth. Just his sixth incompletion on the night. 18 of 24 for 145 yards in this contest. 10.35 to go third period. Marysville trails Rock Creek 28-14. Rock Creek with their first possession of this third period. Marching down the field inside the Marysville 30 now. Second and 10. Whitworth gets a high snap. Quarterback keeper run up the middle. He's got plenty of space. First down and more. All the way down to the 16. 13 yards on that carry. Six for 35 on the ground for Whitworth to go with his 145 in the air. You mentioned he didn't look very mobile. He looked pretty mobile there. He looked very mobile there. Running back has the ball. Did I see a flag go down? I did. I think that play never happened, or, or, or not necessarily never happened, but it was a pre-snap penalty. Legal procedure offense. Legal. Neither team's moving either direction. No. You may have the defense set up off sides, too. I don't know. We'll see. Something on the defense. Is that a legal substitution, maybe? Maybe. 
illegal participation, or they're 12. So what are we going to do? We're going to take the penalty. It'll be second and six or second and five or so. Or do you want? First and five. First and five. What do you want? Doesn't seem like much of a question. No, it doesn't. So first and five for Rock Creek. Every officiating crew at the high school level is quite a bit different. No signals there <laughs> for a long time. Well, he's not mic'd up. A lot of times when they're mic'd up, that helps. Yeah. Here's your first and five plays. A hand off to the off to the end. He's going to get into the end zone. Yeah, it's Winans again. 12-yard touchdown run for him. 10-0-3 to go in the third quarter. Jaden Winans gets his third touchdown. Seven plays, 63 yards in one minute and 57 seconds. Zach Lee on for the extra point. Here's your snap. Blocked again. Blocked again by Marysville. XP blocked. So it is Rock Creek 34, Marysville 14. Legacy Carpet Cleaning will give your floors a fresh as new look. Let their team of dedicated professionals tackle your carpet or tile cleaning. Your home feels fresh, looks great, and makes a more healthy environment for you and your family. Call Skyler Price today for an appointment and let Legacy Carpet Cleaning in Marysville go to work for you. JD Construction wants to make your dream home a reality. Whether you want to build a custom home, remodel your current home, or add on a deck or patio, JD Construction can handle all of your residential construction needs. They are also experts when it comes to agricultural and residential buildings. For small or large projects, consider a custom building from JD Construction. They'll give you high quality work while staying on schedule and budget. Contact Jared Smith at 562-5472. From start to finish, it's JD Construction. Welcome back to Flush, Kansas. Brian Trott and Jason Brenniger here on Rock Creek's homecoming night. They're hosting Marysville, and they're off to a 34 to 14 point lead. And there's still 10 minutes to go in the third quarter. I'm incredibly impressed with Rock Creek's offense tonight. Just a model of efficiency. Yeah, Marysville unable to get their defense off the field. There's your kickoff by Mac Lee. Hope that would go to the, the end back. zone. Hey, a big thank you to all our Bulldog bo Sports Boosters. It's with the benefit of those Sports Boosters providing the uh, ability for us to bring you these Marysville High School football games. So a big thank you to all of them, and please go out and uh, patronize those businesses. And if you're not a Sports Booster and you'd like to be one, contact the studio, and Bruce or Max, they'll hook you up and get you on the list. So Marysville... We'll take over first and 10 on their own 20. They started at this 20 multiple times. Multiple times. 20, 21, 20, 40, 47, 20. There's still two touchdowns themselves, but have given up five. Hand up with the middle. I believe that's four. It is. He's going to go for a yard. Second and nine. For the Bulldogs. And at some point, I think the Bulldogs might start airing it out, right? No. no. I don't think that they will. No. I, I think if you, you, you're you going to have to get a stop first before you'll see anything like that happen. But what they won't be is in any hurry to run offensive plays. Sure. Nine and a half to go in the third quarter. Marysville down 20. Hands off to the second guy through. Bounces up. He's hits, on his hits Brad Williams. He's at the 50. 40. Two guys chasing him down. Uh, 27. He never did get tackled. Nope. Just went out of bounds. So how many is that? 29 to midfield. 39 to the 40. 49 to the 30. Plus four more is 53. Sound good? Sure. <laughs> yes, that sounds right. I think it's got to be 52, but I'll give you the benefit of that. Oh, you got to be kidding. Yeah, re re fix that pencil mark. First and 10, Marysville. 
down 20, looking to get into the end zone to keep this manageable. Your snap. Quarterback keeps Good read, feet. Rook. And a he good run. He's still on his feet. feet. Gets all the way up to first down markers. I think it's going to be 10 yards whether it's a first down or not, right? Now he's going to be two yards short. Second and two. The issue is here in this district, it, I, I think it's pretty top-heavy. you, you got a five-team district. Top two are going to get home games. Top two are going to go on the road. For, or bottom two are going to – next two are going to go on the road for playoff games. And the fifth one gets an extra game. Marysville's here is fighting to be in the one or two position, and they need a win at, win at Rock Creek in order to secure that. Here's Otot. What a nice little run. Yeah, just cutting through the defense. A lot of changes in direction. Takes it from the 19 down to the 12. Give him seven yards. First and 10, Marysville. So Clay Center, who's playing at Southeast Saline tonight outside of district. Concordia and Hiawatha are playing. And then, of course, Marysville and Rock Creek here. Concordia 16, Hiawatha 6 at the half. Tigers were down 12-7 at the half to Southeast of Saline. Which Southeast of Saline took it to Rock Creek. Yes. Here's your Marysville play. I've been. I first thought Slupiana got the ball off the middle. I'm not sure who ran the ball at it. All. Was, it was Red. Red. It was Red. Second guy through, and he's going to get what? Three? Three? Yeah. Second and seven. Nope, second and seven. Yeah, pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. That's right. Very cool down 20, 7.25 to go in the third quarter. Putting their own drive together, though. Rook gets the snap. Has the ball still. He's running it so well, yeah, not only from a decision-making standpoint, but just the, the subtle little moves he's making. Yep. He had two defenders, and he, he split the difference between the two, and they brought him down, but he fell, fell forward for three or four more yards. And we got an injured bulldog on the field. We're going to take a timeout with them. We'll be right back. Rock Creek 34, Marysville 14. At United Bank and Trust, we get it. Bank hours don't always fit into your schedule. With the United Bank and Trust mobile banking app, you can bank anytime, anywhere. At home, at work, or anywhere in between, you can perform convenient and secure transactions like mobile check deposit, transfer money between accounts, or see your balance instantly. Find it by searching for United Bank and Trust mobile app in your app store. Mobile banking with United Bank and Trust. It's banking for your way of life. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Free CPA in Marysville has built a heritage of trust and reliability with your accounting, tax, and business advisory needs through the years. Certified public accountant Marcus Fries, with over 25 years of experience, and his staff continue that tradition of outstanding service to you, the customer, each and every day. Free CPA, downtown Marysville. Just too short. Welcome back. We're still trying to figure out who the injured Marysville Bulldog was. It's a rolled ankle. He is not exiting uh, with any weight on Oh, uh, he's keeping no weight on it. it. The coaches are helping him the sideline. It was an offensive lineman, five number. I'm not so sure of the second number. And so we won't speculate. We'll try to get that for you and yep. pass it along when we know. Okay, so now it's third and one. I already forgot what the line Oh, is Rook running mm -hmm. the ball really well. Nearly down to the goal line. It's third and one from the three for Marysville. Brooke gets the snap. Quarterback sneak. I think he's at the goal line. He might even be in. Still he's waiting on the ball. Him short. Well, there hasn't been a signal either way. Will Oktai letting the official know that it's a touchdown. So I think he agrees. Touchdown, Marysville. Okay. So a two yard touchdown run for Rook on the quarterback sneak. His third rushing touchdown of the night, 127 yards to go with it. And I said Brooke had the, the, the game of his life last week. I think he's just that good. This may be the new expectation mm -hmm. for Rook Williams. Playing very well. And I'm here for it. Yes, sir. 
Lauer on for the extra point. Maybe snap. Well, good from here. It is good. Extra point's good. Marysville 21, Rock Creek 34. Whether it's a car accident, storm damage, or a fire, when the unthinkable happens, it doesn't matter if you saved money in 15 minutes. In this moment, it doesn't matter if your neighbor has the same insurance as you. In this moment, what matters is that your independent insurance agent and the company that stands behind you have you covered. Please come see the girls on Broadway at Alliance Insurance, 785-562-2393. Welcome back. Still trying to sort out who the injured player was, but Marysville puts together an 80-yard drive capped off by another Rook Williams touchdown. Yeah, he stood of the night, uh, so he's got all three of them. And, uh, you know, it's been fun to watch him work. Uh, the Marysville offense has been uh, better than okay. I, almost good, maybe even good. Yep. But the problem is that the defense has not no solution for what Rock Creek is putting out offensively. Rock Creek is five for five on their touchdown drives, and they've done it just in, in uh, nine plays, 11 plays, eight plays, 10 plays, seven plays. And they, you say 11 plays, but it only takes them a minute and a half to do that. Yeah, that's the thing is, is that they can run plays in a hurry, and they get just, they're not big chunks, seven, eight, seven, eight, seven, eight, and then all of a sudden they're in the end zone. Onside kick coming. Not covered. <laughs> Not recovered by Marysville, but covered well by Rock Creek. I like it. I like the Absolutely. They do it every well, time. This, we can't stop them if it's 80 at, 90 yards. 100%. Yep. And if we are going to start stopping them, we can stop them from the 45, 46 just as well. Love it. You get one of those, it works as a turnover. That's the other thing Rock Creek has done a really good job of with, with 24 pass attempts, not anything close to an interception. I don't think we've had a turnover at all today. No. First and 10 Rock Creek. Straddling the midfield line to pass. Good throw. Caught again. Once tackle. again, the first guy there misses. So instead of it being a gain of five or six yards, it's going to be a gain of nine. Right. And it's Burgess again. Even Burgess. What is that, 10, 11? That's 11. 11 catches. For 91 yards. Second and one. Six thirty-eight to go. Third quarter, 34-21 Rock Creek. A lot of points put up on the board tonight. There's your snap. Hand up up the middle. Another missed tackle. Yep. And another big game. Brought down by Otot, as well as Rhett Williams, which unfortunately we're naming our safeties. Yep. 15 carries, 109 yards, and three touchdowns for Winans. First and 10, Rock Tree. That three-man front of Marys has just been unable to do anything penetration-wise against that Rock Creek offensive line. You know, we call Burgess and we call Winans and we call Whitworth, but that offensive line of Rock Creek deserves a ton of credit. Absolutely. Whitworth, pass is underthrown. He had Maddox Navarra open for about a five-yard gain, assuming Marysville defender brings him down, but he underthrows the second and ten. Not very many incompletions for Dalton Whitworth. 19 to 26. 154 for Whitworth. 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 Second and 10 play. Man in motion. Going to give it to him. Oh, yeah. And he's got, uh, now that is a pass play because yep. he shuffled it forward. So it's going to go Whitworth to, to Burgess for minus four. Kimper Eichmann. Kemper Eichmann, the Bulldog, in for the tackle for loss. And who is the receiver? Burgess. Who else? Got it. Third and 14, the best situation Marysville's been in all night. 
Here's your play. Whitworth drops back to pass. Surveying down the field. He throws it deep into the end zone. Got him ahead. Two guys. And Ota breaks up the ball. Incomplete. Fourth and long, but there's a flag down in the backfield. And you know what that's going to be? It's either one of two things guaranteed. Hold on the offense or a personal foul defense. It's going to be a hold on the offense. Did you do not give them an extra play. Absolutely not. Do not give an extra play. You decline this. Extra plays always bite you. Yep. Yep. Fourth and 13 it is, please. Hold on Rock Creek. It'll Decline. be declined smartly by Coach Trimble. Yeah. You still got a play here, I think, based upon where you're at on the football field. Oh, Unless you've got a punter that you've watched in practice, just pin it, pin it, pin it. No, I completely agree. They're gonna they were gonna go for it regardless of the penalty. Yeah, you just don't want to give them the extra down, even if it is ten yards back. Yep. Whitworth alone in the backfield. Drops back to pass. No pressure. Oh yeah, tipped. Tipped and Marysville's gonna take over on downs. Starting on their own or yeah, starting on their own thirty seven, some of our best starting field position of the night. And, Jason, you mentioned it, the onside kick. Might as well try it. If you're going to stop them from, yep. the, from and, their own 20, you can stop them from their own 45. And they did stop them. And now, if Marysville can put this in, and not, it doesn't have to be in a big hurry. Yeah. But it, 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 in this minutes. quarter. Yeah, well, it takes five minutes. Yep. It may it'd be a one-position game. Mm-hmm. Marysville 21, Rock Creek 34. Marysville with the ball after their first defensive stop. Quarterback still has the ball. Pitches it late. Very ill-advised pitch. But it went from a three- or four-yard loss to a three- or four-yard gain. Yes. I'm not sure if that was Otot or Brett. Yeah, it was Otot. Otot. Could have easily been six points the other direction, though. What are you giving it, three? Three, indeed. I like it, second and seven. So if it's option to the left side, it's going to be Otot. If it's option to the right side, it's going to be Williams thank most you. of the time. Thank you, thank you. Running to the left. This time it's a hand off to Hornbeak. No game. Hornbeak unable to get on track. Four carries, ten yards. The third and seven. And I, I truly believe the fullback dive is is just to set up the next play. Absolutely. You bet. So it, it's okay. I mean, you don't want to be in third and seven if you're Marysville. They're going to go for you know, fourth down either way. I think they have to. Yeah. The same reason you kick that onside it, kick is the same reason you're already in four-down territory. Yep. So you have Double tight. two downs to get seven yards. Give to the second guy through, and he's blown up. Yeah, there's just nothing there. His own effort, he's going to get a yard. Now, it was Rhett on that carry. It's just the second guy through. They ran that fairly successfully in the first half, but not that time. Now, fourth and six here for Marysville. I, I do not think this is a tough decision. I think you run a play here, and I think you yep. run yep. without hesitation here. Can't take a timeout. No, not yet. Need them later. Too early. Yep, just go. 324 to go in the third quarter. Marysville down 13 points with the ball, but it's fourth and six. Here's your play. Quarterback still has it. Pitches no, late. It's just the words. Yep. They ran that to the short side of the field, and it just wasn't there. Yep. Every single play there was, was ran left. And and it was short, like you said, the short side of the field. Yeah, that went, God didn't have an edge to get. Yeah, that went for minus two. Rock Creek takes over on down in Marysville territory. The Marysville looking to get another stop. They just got their first stop four plays ago. Yes, they did for the first stop of the night, and then and then Marysville offense could not do anything with the football. Three minutes to go in the third. Rock Creek snap. Quick pass out our direction. Gets past the first guy. Will Otop brings him down. But first he gets seven yards. Sturdy the catch there. New receiver. Yep. Logan Sturdy. He's a senior, number two. 
Got eight yards on that one. All these receivers wear single digits. They're almost all seniors. Second and short. Quick pass to Burgess. Same play, just the other side. Yep. He, 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 he makes two guys big. Miss gets to the five touchdown. Ethan Burgess. There is a really struggle with his tackling. Where'd that play start? I don't know. 31 yard know. line. 31 yard pass to Whitworth to Burgess. I got to break out the calculator, kids. <laughs> two point conversion, no. Extra point try pending. There's a blocked two of these. Two thirty one to go, still in the third quarter. Fake. And it's going to work. Zach Lee runs it in on the fake extra point for the two-point conversion. It is Rock Creek 42, Marysville 21. Get away with a shopping day at Reflections Hallmark. Beautiful home decor pieces, scented candles, last-minute gift ideas for any reason, plus Hallmark cards, as well as fabulous boutique clothing and accessories. For yourself, for your home, for someone else, shop Reflections Hallmark in downtown Marysville. And remember, they do custom picture framing with lots of frames and matting choices. You're always welcome. Thanks for shopping local. Reflections Hallmark, downtown Marysville. There is a difference. Oh, what a difference. We've helped a lot of families own their own home. We have several options available in mortgage loans. If you're thinking of building or buying a new home, come in and see us. We're an equal housing lender. First Commerce Bank. Experience the difference. Member FDIC. There is a difference. Every driver is different. So is every car insurance policy. At Blue Valley Insurance, we get it. That's why we offer an array of options, from affordable coverage options to extra services and money-saving discounts. We're here to help you build the best car insurance policy for your needs. What's more? The right car insurance coverage can help protect you and your loved ones in the event of a car accident, theft, or other covered loss. See us at Blue Valley Insurance in Lynn, Greenleaf, Hanover, and Marysville. Welcome back. Mac Lee for Rock Creek kicks the ball out of the end zone for a touchback. Marysville takes over first to 10, trailing by 21 points. The gamble to go for it on fourth down did not pay off. I just still think that that was very much the value play there. There wasn't any real option there. You put the football away, I think you're going to see Rock Creek march the field. I think that uh, the Marysville defense was fortunate to get the one stop they got, and that was it. Now this offense has to get on track. It has to produce points. Yeah, four and out on their last possession. Here's your first play, and it's Hornbeek. He's going to get pretty good yardage here, five yards on first down. And that is what Marysville's offense is designed to do, get five yards every play. Right on, yes. Uh, and it almost puts you in a must-do because they're not made to get eight yards on fourth and eight. Second and five. Rook under center. Otod in motion. Quarterback keeper fakes the flip. He's going to maybe get a yard, maybe go. Maybe, deep. maybe not. Do you do half yardage? No. Okay, well, in this case, give him half a yard. Which means it's one. Oh, okay. It was a full yard. Third and four. Oh. Marysville reads their wristbands. It's under center. Otot in motion. Rooks, or Rook pitches to Otot. He's going to lose yards. Yeah, that's, that's the same play they ran on the fourth down uh, the time before, and it went for minus one. And guess what? It went for minus one. It's just not enough field on that side to get done what you need to get done. 
fourth down again for the Bulldogs. Now, you you got to punt this now, don't you? For what reason? For what reason? <laughs> well, listen, you can't keep giving up short fields to a team you're trying to come back on. That's the what reason. Yeah. But but can they, you know, can they stop them if they punt it to them? Into the wind, our last punt from here we ended up right around the midfield. I don't know. Quarterback keep. He's got the he fourth he down it. conversion by Marysville. A he, 15 on that or yeah, so, I think. Takes it all the way from the 25 up to the 42. He's 17. What do you think now, Jason? Do you think, you think they should go for it? No, I... <laughs> The, the logic I stands, know, I know. The, and I, I love the idea of going for it. I really do. I don't know how you, you can't really stay in the football game if you don't. Right. But you can't stay in the football game if you don't get it either. Get 20, you have to field. get it, yeah. and they did. And so, yes. Yeah. They ran to the long side of the field, which I like. Here's your first and ten play. Got to get just past midfield. Good read there so by Rook. Keep up the middle. Seven. I believe it's Hornbeak, the runner. It is. It is. Trey Mott's Hornbeak. I haven't called him a Trey you yet. Today. He's getting on track a bit. Six carries for 22 yards after being four for 10. That's the end of the third quarter. Uh, I think we're going to take it with him. Rock Creek 20, 42, Marysville 21. For reliable trash pickup and roll-off service, call on Temp's Disposal. Containers sized to meet your needs for residential, commercial, and construction jobs. Always prompt and professional, Temp's Disposal serves Marshall, Washington, and Gage counties. Let them go to work for you. If it's their weekly collection schedule or one-time pickups for construction, moving, or cleanup, Temp's Disposal in Marysville is a phone call away at 785-562-5360. Napa know-how. Locally owned, locally operated, your Napa parts store in Marysville offers Napa parts and accessories, plus the tools, equipment, and supplies you need to get every job done right the first time. The right tools at the right price, plus Napa know-how. From your locally owned and locally operated Napa parts store in Marysville, Eden's Automotive. Napa know-how. Welcome back to Flush, Kansas on Rock Creek's homecoming night. Marysville down 42 to 21. Just just converted a huge fourth down. What was that, fourth and six? Yep, yep. It was a good job uh, and, and a nice play call and a nice decision uh, by Rook Williams. When, when he first made that decision, I was really, really scared that he was only going to be about two or three. But he made that first guy miss, and he had a lot of room after that. So fourth quarter is where the uh, champions are made. There is a tremendous uphill battle for Marysville if they want to win this football game. It's going to take not only some great play on Marysville's uh, side, but it's also going to take Rock Creek cooperating in that. Now, you see teams do it, though. They do it all the time. In fact, KU won a national championship in basketball uh, last April with that very scenario. North Carolina had to cooperate and that's what you're going to have to have here. Mm -hmm. Couple turnovers, missed poor decisions. Second down. Second man throws Will Ota. He gets the ball. He's going to get a yard. Clobbered there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you see Marysville guys going down with these arm tackles, and Marysville have been trying the arm tackles themselves on defense, and, and Rock Creek just runs right through them. Yeah, it hasn't been working, has it? Third and four. Two plays to get four yards. Right near midfield. Right to this near side, wide receiver to the far side. Rhett in motion. He's going to get the ball. Runs very hard yes, through the ball, and that gets him the first down. Needed four, gets six. First down. Puts him over 100 yards. Red at 103, Rook at 142. Zero yards passing for Marysville tonight. Zero yards passing. One play was called, but no attempt. 
Right. Well, and Rhett has the uh, one uh, attempt on the pitch pass, and then Rook had the spike. Ah. Here's your play. Four beat up the middle, just dragging a Rock Creek defender, giving at least seven or eight. I think it may be as many as nine by the time they set this thing. Yeah, make it make it a gain of eight, second and two coming up. Really good hard run there by yes. Tremont Hornby. Seven for 30 now for him. He's coming on strong lately. Two, seven, one, zero, then five, seven, eight. All that outside action opens up the middle. It does. So then you feed, it, feed the middle a little bit and it opens up the outside. Right now, Rock Creek should be really off balance. Second and two. Rhett in motion. Pass. Oh, he's going to try to throw it. That ball is out, and Rock Creek has it. And Rook is still on the ground. Uh, he's going to get up and be okay. But it's going to be a fumble and a turnover, Rock Creek football. Trying to catch Rock Creek sleeping. Marysville offensive line was not able to hold uh, the Rock Creek defenders. Not one, but two in Rook's face as he tried to throw that football. He didn't have enough time. Out it came. Yancey the Spiller there hits it's Rook as he's throwing it. He does get back up and stays on for defense. Yeah, don't, uh, don't, do not pay attention to the fella next door. Excuse me, correction has been his most common phrase. <laughs> All right, first down, Rock Creek gets past play action, thrown deep to a bar on Wide open. Cocked and caught. Oh, man, makes the man miss again. He's, He's going to find his way into the end zone. Yep. 57 yards, one, 58 yards, one play. Let's go 57. 57 yard pass. Whitworth to Burgess. He's got a ton. Whitworth showing his ability to throw downfield, which I criticized him on that, too. Official timeout. Some sort of confusion here on the side. Oh, is there an official picture, maybe? Yep. 175 yards, three touchdown receptions for Burgess on, four, uh, on 14 catches. Official must have got involved in that play a little bit. He's shaking up. 23 of 32, three touchdown passes for 246 yards for Whitworth. Mack Lee to kick. Looks like he got it through. It is good. Extra point. Uh, 49 for Rock Creek, 21 Mary. Farming is your way of life. State Farm agent John Bannister gets that. State Farm's farm policies are designed to deliver broad, flexible coverage customized to how you run your operation. Protect what you've worked hard to build. John is proud to tailor coverage to meet the vast needs of your farm. Contact State Farm agent John Bannister, 1022 Broadway in Marysville today. When you roller, send for Schroeder. For complete body repair, see Jeff at Schroeder Collision Center, a family business for several generations. Let Jeff and his quality crew help you with your auto needs. Schroeder Collision Center, 701 Carolina, 562-3546. Welcome back. Brian Crott and Jason Brinninger bringing you this Friday Night Lights action. Last one of September, like you said. Yes, it is. I love the Indigest commercial there. It reminds me of a 1980s video game. I, I think that uh, commercial's older than that, right? That's the one that's been around forever, right? Oh, no, that was I, Wayne. I, I, that, that tune, that little kick at the end, that's been around for a long time. Right? Yeah. Okay, yep. very good. If you roll or send for sure, that's... I'll it, tell you. Yep. Well, we've rolled this one. Yeah, so one common theme in all of Rock Creek's wins is they score 40-something. Well, if Marysville doesn't stop them, they might get into the 50s, but they are into the 40s, and, and Marysville's down four touchdowns. There is still 9.52 to go in this football mm -hmm. game. Yeah, Rock Creek's been very dynamic. They've been able to run at will. They've been able to throw it at will. Whitworth is having a heck of a day. Video game-like numbers. Here's your kick. Mac Lee into the wind. 
hits the ground, which is never good. Mm -hmm. At the 11, Rhett Williams makes a few guys miss, salvages it into a decent return. That could have been disastrous. Yes, it could have. And I, I'm not sure what he was doing there. Did he maybe lost it in the lights a bit or but in the stands, Marysville will start at their own 25-yard line, down four full touchdowns, 9.44 to go in the football game. The outcome here, all but predetermined. The issue is, what kind of fight does Marysville have, and what kind of things can they do to build uh, as we go through the rest of the district? Off of district play next week as Valley Heights comes to town. But... For homecoming. Run up the middle. I believe it's Hornbeak, but it could be Slupionic. It is Hornbeak. He's going to get a couple. Yep, give him two. We'll talk about it at length next week, but that matchup, Valley Heights and Marysville has a couple of storylines with Coach Tony Trimble being the former head coach at Valley Heights and his son mm. being the current coach. Mm. Um It'll be interesting. It will be interesting. Here, second guy through. Gets the ball. I believe I hear Rock Creek yelling pass. Was there some sort of... I don't know. It was kind of strange. Yeah. It's just Rhett for... Seven-yard seven. gain. Rhett Williams brings up third and one. Rhett, just nine carries, 110 yards, a nice night for him. But unfortunately, that scoreboard doesn't really reflect the way he wants it to. He'd give away every one of those yards for yep. flipping the scoreboard. Here's your third and one play. I have no idea what happened. I think Rooks just did a quarterback sneak, but I don't think he got it. Yep, yes, yeah. he did. Yeah, he, he needed a yard and got the yard. Yeah. Yeah, it was, it was third and one from the 34, and now it's first and from the 35. Rook and Wet, Rhett Williams, seniors, quarterback Rook, running back Rhett, both defensive backs. Rhett been a starter for three years, Rook for two. Quarterback still has it. It's Rook. Cuts up the field really well. Cuts it right back outside. Uh, uh, a good back. He pitched to uh, Will Ota well downfield, but you're going to bring a lot of this back. It's going to be first and about six. Because the way that flag landed, you're going to go 10 yards back from there on an illegal block. And one that wasn't necessary. It didn't have anything really to do with the play at that point in time. Rook was past it. It's going to be a hole is what they're going to call. During the interesting tidbits, Marysville was going to play the Mustangs two weeks in a row. Huh. A lot of... A lot of uh, Similar, yeah, they're going to make that, it'll make it about a four yard run. Hmm. Repeat first down. So 14 yards down the play was the hold. It was also behind the play. Yeah, it didn't, it wasn't really going to have any impact on the play, but it was a hold and it was right in front of the official and you got to throw that play. It was about a 30 yard run. It's taken off. Hand up to the second guy through, it's just Brett. And I, I'm, the deception gets me yep. every time. I was I was following Hornby. That's the yeah, whole point. Call that. Right. Right. right, gets up a little gingerly. Absolutely, the whole point of this Marysville offense is to get you deceived. It, what it means, though, is that if you're playing assignment football, yep. you don't really care. Yep. If you're disciplined enough to say, "Okay, my job is to hit this guy." and you hit that guy, it doesn't matter if he has the football or not, especially if everyone else does their job. And Rock Creek, largely, has done that pretty well. Time out, Rock Creek. Keep it right here. 7.31 to go in the football game. Rock Creek, 49. Marysville, 21. Marysville's offense has performed almost to the point where I'd say good. Not quite. There's still some things you'd like to work out and, and too many uh, three and outs, uh, especially early when the game was still in the balance. But the defense just had absolutely no answer for what Rock Creek threw at them tonight. Yeah, K Preps, I believe, had Rock Creek rate, uh, ranked the number three best team in 3A. Is that right? Is that right? I think so. So, a good team, a good offense. They score a lot of points with what Marysville had on uh, tape. They didn't 
formulate anything to get any stops. So across the district, Concordia leads Hiawatha 30-12 to 12 at the end of the third quarter. This is what I was talking about with the way the district is shaking up. It looked to be early on that Rock Creek and Clay Center were the, were the top two teams. And it looked to be to me that Concordia and Hiawatha were the bottom two teams. And Marysville could slide either way. With the victory over Concordia, I felt like Marysville was sliding more toward the top. But in order to get first or second, you have to beat either Rock Creek or Clay Center. It won't work otherwise. You're not going to get the help from the bottom, and that's just too much of a hope and a prayer. So if you can't get Rock Creek tonight, which is pretty well a foregone conclusion, you're going to have to get Clay Center in order to get that home playoff game. Yep. Well, the other thing that comes into play now is Marysville has to make sure they secure a win over Hiawatha or they could find themselves yes. in that fifth spot. Yes, they could. They could slide all the way down. It's a nice win. One team, if Concordia would have just lay down and died, uh, you know, and took that fifth spot, then Marysville would be playoff bound. Hand off for Marysville, the second guy through on first and ten. Gain of two. I think it was Rhett, the second guy through. Yeah, he's handing the football to the official, isn't he? Well, you see, my partner... Uh, my partner here on the air told me that if it's a play to the right, the second guy through is going to be red. When they go out of the eye, that's that, all that's that's all. Oh, that, that Sorry about that. Rook, yeah, red, yeah. red plays the left wing. Yeah. If you're going right, it's going yeah. to be Rook. Option away. He fumbled the ball. I think he got back on it. And and still gained four yards. Yeah, he did get back on Now, did they take yardage off? for where he fumbled, and no, not in this case. No. Nope. Is that the rule, though? If you fumble forward, you got to take it back to where you fumbled? Whoa. Yeah, it should be at the Marysville 49, if that's the case. They gave him the three yards. Look at this, tri triple backfield. Never seen this before. Quarterback sneak. For good yardage. Five, maybe six. Yeah, six, six. Five or six yards for Brooks Williams up the middle on a quarterback sneak. I like Marysville's tempo. Mm -hmm. Moving a little faster, but yet still decisive. Six minutes to go. We're halfway through the fourth quarter. Marysville down 28. First down. Enough was to, is that Will? Yep. Two for Ota. Yeah, Rock Creek trying to say they stripped the ball out of his hands. He's, he's 10 for 20 on the night, just two yards per carry for Will Ota. Still, only two, quote, pass attempts. One was a spike by Rook. One was a, a pitch pass that Red attempted uh, that had this no chance. It was yeah. well defended by Rock Creek. Could have been intercepted. Mm -hmm. Second and eight. Rook still has the ball. He probably should have gave that to Hornby. The mesh might have messed up the option play. No gain, maybe half. half year. Give him the half yeah, yard. Eight, give him the half 18 yard. for 153 and three touchdowns for Rook. Third and seven. Four fifty to go in the game. There's the looking to cap off this drive. He'll throw it. Pass. Red is open. Field. Red's open. Caught. Oh, he dropped it. Red, get out of your hands, buddy. Get it out of your hands. His brother is going to harass him for that. That was touchdown. <sighs> yeah, I just, uh, uh, great play, great uh, play uh, call. Yeah, a good throw. play action. Amazing Drop. throw. Dropped it in a bucket. Where's the flag? What's it for? Flag deep downfield. That yeah, is. Dead ball, personal foul on the offense. Huh. The only thing that can be is something that Rhett may have said. There is absolutely nothing else that could have been. From where that flag was thrown, he was the only Marysville player there. He made no contact with any... Other player, it had to be some words out of his mouth. 
Hmm. It puts Marysville back in their own territory after the 15-yard penalty. Yeah, and, and it is fourth down. It was a dead ball foul, so. What do you do, run the same play again? Well, you won't run it again to, to Rhett. Rhett's been brought to the sideline. Yeah. Devin Tomer. Tristan the, Schaefer here is, is the replacement for him. Okay, Devin Tomer, here's our close receiver. It is going to be a pass. We've got no time. Five, two guys in space. We just had no seven. time. Number 34 for Rock Creek, still working on a return. That is Trevor Christian. Yeah. That's the implosion. Yeah. That's not what you want. That's exactly the opposite of what you're looking for. If you're coaching the Marysville Bulldogs, you want poise, composure, and finish the game no matter what the score, giving your best effort, making your you're putting your best self forward. And that's not what's happened here in the last couple of plays for Marysville. Now we'll see if Rock Creek, maybe do they have some secondaries in? Looks like it. Nope, that's, nope, still starters. Running back number nine, Jaden Winans. He's got a few touchdowns. He's going to get six more yards, according to the guy next door. Very, uh, why? I, well, I'm, I'm asking you genuinely, ask, answer that question, why? Mm -hmm. No, not going to do it for us? You're asking me. Yes, I'm asking oh, you. Why did you have your starters in no, at this point in time? There's, there's no reason. There is no reason. You're, you've got the plus score points that you want for the district. Mm -hmm. The game is well out of hand. Yeah, what, what's the point difference? Differential? What? I think it's 20. I think it's 20. 20. Yeah. Whitworth keeps it. Gets the first down. Eight on. Yeah, if it's me, I'm I'm protecting my seniors. I'm, uh, I'm putting that's in. That's right. I'm putting in. Uh, they've got a deep sideline. Look at how many players. One they player, Whitworth mm -hmm. or Wyman or Burgess, Burgess yeah. turns an ankle. Yep. Then you just look so silly, mm -hmm. and there's nothing to be gained. And there's by doing this, whether there's so much to be gained by putting other kids onto the football field yes. to give them opportunities. Yep. Handoff to Wyman. Pretty good run. Give him four yards. I may have been too generous, but second and seven or six. 17 carries, 118 yards for Wine and Tim and Whitworth are the only two guys that have ran the football. Now, about 47 different guys have caught passes, but that's a different story. I call that exaggerating. Okay. Three minutes to go here in the ball game. Marysville down 49-21. Rock Creek offense back on the field, still with their starters. Burgess, Burgess still Burgess making guys. Tackles, that, yeah. I think he stepped out. They're going to mark him at the 10, so 23 yards on that. Was that a Tristan Schaefer tackle, or did he step out? Uh, Schaefer on the tackle. Love it. How many yards did I say? I don't know. 23, from the 33 to the 10. Down to the 10 for sure. First and goal. Rock Creek. Burgess in motion. It's a pass to him. He's going to lose yardage. Tackled very hard. Yeah, hard, yeah. That's one of those situations. If he doesn't get back up, tackled very hard to... Uh, by Rhett Williams, who clearly said something out of frustration. Yep. He took a little more frustration out. Yeah, and that's the legal kind. That's the kind you want to see. Yep. There's nothing dirty or, or anything about that. And might have sworn on that, actually. Just a hard tackle. Yeah, from the 10 back to the 11. Second and goal. Oh, option. Trying to pull one out of Marysville's playbook. When they do, it did. Yeah, touchdown. 
Jaden White in, what is that, four? It's four for the night. 11 yards. Eleven yard run by Winans puts Brock Stick into the fifties. Extra point try by Mac Lee. Very well kicked. Extra point is good. 56, Rock Creek, Marysville 21. Kick A for certified public accountants in Marysville and now in Seneca are qualified and available to assist you with all of your income tax and accounting needs. Stop by and visit Ken Kick for Kent Bussing or their staff of certified public accountants and paraprofessionals. For prompt and friendly service, contact Kick A for Bussing at their two locations, 1100 Broadway in Marysville at 562 2100 or 508 Main Street in Seneca at 336 2400 to set up an appointment. Kick A for Bussing, where quality begins. Haymakers like you told us what they want from a self-propelled wind rower, and New Holland listened. Visit Can Equip in Marysville and see the result. The high productivity, high precision, high performance Speed Rower Plus. Featuring the industry's fastest speeds, drive-by wire controls, PLM solutions, and our most comfortable ride ever. It'll help you mow more hay in a day faster and with greater precision. Stop by Can Equip in Marysville and put big new pluses to work in your hay operation. Back to Rock Creek. Derek Trimble's right below me, and I'm harassing him. I think we need to interview him for the game next week to see if he's cheering for dad or brother. Absolutely. We ought to bring him into the booth and get that done. Let's, let's do it. Mac Lee with the kickoff. Fielded by a Bulldog at the 17. It's, it's Rook Williams. He's past the 40, 45. Ran out of bounds near midfield. Good return. I love the confidence that he's getting and gaining as a runner. <laughs> Give you an update on that uh, cross district game. If I can figure out how to run my phone, guys. Here we go. It is Concordia 30, Hiawatha 12. Did I already tell you that? I probably already told you that. Sounds familiar. Uh, better to hear it twice than not yep. at all. Yep. Right in midfield. First and 10, Marysville. Red is back in the game. That's good to see. Hand off up the middle of the horn beat. Maybe one. Updates are piling in. Tigers hit beat. That's Clay Center Tigers. They lose the Southeast of Saline 26 14. So Southeast of Saline has beat Rock Creek, and they have beat Clay Center. And Rock Creek here just putting them. Pounding on Marysville at this point. Five touchdown lead with one minute to play in the football game. Second and nine. Option this way. Pitch to Otot. Not much again for Otot. Maybe one. Ball started at the 49. I think it's going to stay there. They like they like running Otot to the to the short side and mm -hmm. it's, it's not worth. Not been worth Otot was once two carries for twelve yards. He's now at eleven carries for twenty one yards. So Rock Creek certainly found the answer for Will Otot. High formation, third and nine. Came up to the second guy through who just Rhett Williams running runs hard, running very hard. Yeah. Give him ten. Yep. <clears throat> First down. 49 seconds to go in the ball game. A couple more plays here. Yep. Same play. Seven. Might be it. Coach Trimble calling you to play. They may try to get one more yep. in. Yep. This will be the last play of the football game. 
11, 10. And uh, up the middle, the North Beach. Three, two, one. That's the ball game final score. Going to go into the books is Rock Creek 56, Marysville 21. We're going to do some addition. Jason's going to take his shoes off the count. We'll be right back. Sunflower Community Credit Union recognizes that members' health, both personal and financial, is top priority. In order to make your banking a completely safe experience, they're proud to now offer drive-in convenience, Monday through Friday, 7.30 till 5.30, Saturday, 8.30 till noon. Lending can be done remotely as well. Contact their friendly loan officers at 562-3741. New members always welcome. Call, go online, or drop by Sunflower Community Credit Union in Marysville for more details. Caring about your personal and financial health, Sunflower Community Credit Union. Your hometown partner with any do-it-yourself project is Hometown Lumber of Marysville and Axtell Lumber of Axtell. Serving the community for over 20 years, expert knowledge accompanied by a helpful smile and reassuring handshake will tell you you're in the right place. With all your building needs, they are ready to help you. Stocked with a full line of lumber and hardware to go along with tools, plumbing supplies, paint, and lawn and garden, you'll leave knowing you've made the right choice by stopping at Axel Lumber and Hometown Lumber in Marysville. Are they going to run the same thing? Uh, yeah, I'm pretty yeah. sure they still do. All right, hey, welcome back. I've got Derek, Tr Derek Trimble here uh, interviewing him to see if he's cheering for his dad in the Marysville Bulldogs or his alma mater and his brother, Cody Wright, uh, at Valley Heights Mustang. Who are you going for? Uh, I'm sure I'll cheer for both of uh, yeah. Probably going to have to cheer more for Valley Heights. For the alma mater? Yeah. All right, all right. So so you know what, what offense your dad runs. Yeah. Did you run this when you were under him? Yeah. yeah. What did your brother do? I'm pretty sure they're still around the same. The same thing. So it's going to be the same thing against the same thing. Yeah. Who's going to get the edge on that? Dad, right? Know. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. Uh, so as a dad, you always want to see your kids be successful, right? Right. Right? Um, and uh, so so obviously your dad's always cheering for Cody. Right. right? <laughs> what kind of dynamic is that when your dad's going against Cody? He can't cheer for Cody. And Dad can't lose to, to the kid, right? There's there's definitely a lot of competition. There's been some trash talking between the two. Already, oh, yeah. yeah. Did you guys, did the the rest of the family chip in a little bit. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. pretty competitive. Nice, nice. Well, hey, glad to have you here, uh, and appreciate you supporting Marysville tonight, right? Yeah, yeah. You're supporting <laughs> Marysville. I'm gonna give this back to Jason. He's gonna give us the stats. Derek, thank you again. Yeah. We'll see you at the Marysville game homecoming next Friday. Right on. Thanks a lot, Derek Triple, for stepping in. I don't know if you knew exactly what he was stepping into. Hey, I didn't know what I was pulling him into. It was just a little fun while you were. Big night you were tonight for that Rock Creek offense on their homecoming. 56-21 victory over the Marysville Bulldogs. Take a deep breath. Run it down for us. All right. Started off in the first play of the game. Brooke Williams, 80-yard run. Extra point was good by Jack Lauer. 7-0 Marysville is how homecoming night started for Rock Creek. But then it was all Rock Creek. A couple minutes later, Jaden Wyden kicks off a long drive for Rock Creek with a one-yard run, 7-7 tie. At the end of the first quarter, Dal Dalton Whitworth hits Ethan Burgess for the first time of many. Uh, Five-yard pass, 13-7 after an extra point was blocked. In the second quarter, we get a second-yard run by Jaden Winans, the first of his touchdowns. Once again, he had many. Two-point conversion was good by Ibarra Run and 21-7. Still in the second quarter, 15-yard run by Rook Williams, his second. Put Marysville within 7, 21-14. Rock Creek still on top. And right before halftime, Dalton Whitworth with a four-yard run. Extra point was good. 28-14. Rock Creek's where we stood at halftime. In the third quarter, so the first Two, first three quarters, there were three touchdowns, fourth quarter two. With 10.03 to go in the third quarter, so right after halftime, Jaden Winans gets a 12-yard run. Extra point was blocked again, so second Winans touchdown run, second XP extra point block, 34-14 uh, Rock Creek. Still in the third quarter, three-yard touchdown run by Rook Williams. His third extra point was good, 34-21, Rock Creek still on top. 31-yard pass. In the third quarter, from Whitworth to Burgess, put Rock Creek up 42-21. to 21. Uh, There was a fake field goal that 
gave them the two-point conversion. And in the fourth quarter, we had a 57-yard pass from Whitworth to Burgess. Extra point was good, 49-21 Rock Creek, and an 11-yard run with a minute and a half to go by Winans. We're not sure why he was still in the game. 56-21 Rock Creek. Yeah, and so Rock Creek really took advantage of the short field. But in the end, they did put up 440 yards of total offense, 172 on the ground, 268 in the air. Uh, That 172 on the ground, uh, Winans had 129 of them and four touchdowns. Whitworth had a touchdown run and seven carries for 43 yards. Whitworth flinging that football around 25 of 34, 268 yards and three touchdown passes, all of them to wide receiver number one, Ethan Burgess, who had 16 catches. Yes, 16 catches. Three of them for touchdowns, 197 total yards. A couple of other guys had some catches, too. <laughs> Marysville offense, absolutely 335 yards rushing is a nice night. Yeah. Add that to their total offense, 335 yards, Brian, zero in the air. That may have been a problem, may have not have been. I think the short fields really got us more than anything. 53 plays run by Marysville. Rock Creek only ran 59, so see, that just got pretty close. But as it stands, on those 335 yards, a big night for Rook Williams, who had 18 carries, 153 yards, and three touchdowns. Rhett Williams had 13 carries for 135 yards. Will Otot, 11 carries, 21 yards. Tremont Hornby, 10 carries, 25 yards. And Dakota Slupionic had a carry for a yard. So that's it. A wild night here in uh, Rock Creek. Got away from Marysville late, 56-21, Rock Creek defeats Marysville. Big thank you to Bruce back in the studio. Sorry for the screw-up. Big thank you to the play-by-play man here tonight. Brian Crott did a great job. I'm Jason Brenniger. Thanks for listening, everybody. It's service you can always trust at Sink Gordon & Associates in Waterville and Marysville. Their experience in all matters of farm, business, and individual income tax planning and preparation, estates and trust, accounting and payroll services too. Call Chad Parker in Waterville at 363-2263 or Aaron Wright in Marysville at 562-3858. Sink Gordon & Associates, comprehensive and innovative accounting in Northeast Kansas since 1946. Honeyman Auto Sales and Service. Drive by or check inventory online at HoneymanAuto.com. You can even schedule a test drive online as well. With lots of choices, Honeyman works to make yours the best buying experience with customer service a top priority. Competitive pricing, knowledgeable staff, and superior customer service right here at home. With a full service shop and a selection of both cars and trucks in all price ranges, see Honeyman Auto Sales and Service East Pony Express High away marysville today take the worry out of ordering and refilling your propane tanks with kramer oil great people to work with their family has been serving your family since 1976 customize your account with delivery and automatic refill prepaid discount or level billing options available hard work integrity and dedication to the community are hallmarks that kramer oil lives by and promise to deliver for you join the family today with a phone call to kramer oil in marysville find them online at KramerOil.com. At your service 24-7, on air, online, and on our mobile app. News, weather, sports, and more. Yours from KNDY.